So why is Allah saying to him the following ayah? Stay away, ya Muhammad, from idols. You're supposed to be a follower of Jesus, and you're using words like that. Well, and it's not my words. I, 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 it's not my words. It's the words of Allah. Are you embarrassed of Allah? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time! This is the moment that you all have been waiting for. For, 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 for. We are live! Live, 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 live. You are listening to the live broadcast of your friendly neighborhood stream doctor and Christian apologist. Apologist, apologist, apologist. Apologies. The warrior for Christ and enemy of Allah and his messenger. 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 This is your favorite YouTuber. Now speaking from Cave. Hero. 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 Rob Christian. 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 Please fasten your seatbelts. Houston, we are ready for takeoff. Off, 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 off. We are back, baby. We are live, baby. Let's go. Hello, everybody. God bless you. Nice to see you here. Yes, you heard it correctly, guys. We are live, baby. We are live. Welcome, everybody. For the people who still don't know, I am Rob Christian, I'm a Christian apologist, polemicist, and I am the enemy of Allah and his Rasul. I hope our Christians in the live chat have invited a lot of people to join us because I always get the message from Asia, from our Indonesian and Malaysian friends especially, Rob Christian, you never go live when it's the best time for us. Well, where's everybody? Come on, man. Invite, baby. <laughs> Come on, guys. Uh, I can't do this on my own. I need your help. Our Indonesian and Malaysian friends, Christians, invite. Come on. You always ask me to go live when it's for you the best time to go. So please, guys, let us... Do this. Uh, Allah Shin, uh, please uh, uh, take it easy uh, on the muta, okay? Okay? Um, no need uh, for that kind of language here. Keep that for the Muslims. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, guys, come on. Invite and uh, let us start. Let me drink something. Guys, I decided, I decided to, to do a marathon, because last time we didn't have enough people uh, to join us. I hope today is going to be a different story, but it seems that our Christians lately, or I don't know what's going on on YouTube, either I'm shadow banned, for some reason my notifications don't go out, Sharia Tube has shadow banned me, or Christians are simply lazy. What's going on with the numbers? We normally have at least 200 plus people watching. And now we are live for the best uh, time for our Indonesian friends and so on. Where is everybody, guys? Come on, invite. I cannot do this on my own. I need your help, Christians. Come on. 
Do this for me too. I need your help. I cannot do this alone. Please. I know uh, it must be hard a lot of people to to copy and paste the link. It is I mean it's really uh, difficult, right? Uh, Rob stop nagging, Rob stop whining. Start already. Sorry guys. Uh I really I'm do I'm not doing things for myself. Honest to God. We are trying to do this for the poor Muslims out there who are deceived by this evil satanic cult. And I cannot uh, uh, do this on my own. I need your help. Social media is the key, guys. Social media is key. Please invite, share the link on social media. Let's go. All right, guys. I hope, uh, I hope many people will turn up. Uh, someone told me there are uh, a couple of live shows on the Indonesian channels. Maybe it's time for the Indonesian channels to promote and uh, tell them about. There is a guy called Rob Christian who knows Arabic who can take a deep dive in the Islamic books. When you do when you do a deep dive, I'm a scuba diver. When you do a deep dive, I'm a scuba diver. Things get very, very awkward and difficult. I know you Indonesians don't know Arabic, so come here, learn, download our videos, put subtitles, and use the information that we are sharing that we are getting from the Arabic Islamic books that are not translated in your live shows. How are you going to destroy this evil cult? If you don't know the language, guys. Yes, guys, I'm not trying to, um, you know, brag. God forbid. May God stop me if I'm doing this to brag or for fame or money. God forbid. But we are doing this to help you out, guys. It's really important. It's really important to learn about the new material. Guys, this is day number two from the marathon. I decided to do a marathon about the satanic verses because I have new information to share with you. We did a live show two days ago about the same topic. This is the second day because I think it's really important to share with you how evil these lies and deceivers are who, who claim to be the Muslim apologists and scholars who hide more than 90% about the Islamic books. Remember, more than 90% of the Muslim Ummah on this planet, the Muslim nation, don't speak one word Arabic. You know, countries like Indonesia, Malaysia, and so on, and so on. They don't know Arabic, so they are dependent on the lies and fabrications of these scholars who call themselves Ustaz, Imam, Shiyukh, and so on. Now, now we have access to these books. Guys, just a second. I'm receiving a really important call. Just a second, bear with me, okay? Please bear with me. Be right back. Guys, uh, sorry for that. I'm back. I'm back, baby. I'm back. Guys, sorry for that. Uh, I really had to take that call. Uh, turned out that my wife is outside waiting for me to open the door. I didn't know about that. So, yeah. This is what is going on during a live show sometimes, right? So, please bear with me, guys. All right, all right. Uh, we are back. Invite, share, guys. Again. 
I discovered a couple days ago new material to share with you regarding the satanic verses. But we know the scholars won't share this with their audience or viewers or let alone people who go to the mosque, Muslims who go to the mosque. Have you ever seen a Muslim scholar who is honest about the material that we are going to bring up that it turns out that the satanic verses is a historical true event in the life of Muhammad. Now, guys, before we start, before we start, as you know, we cannot do this without our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So I want to ask you to pray with me, to pray with me in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, so that our live stream can be, can be blessed and our people in the live chat and our audience, including the Muslims, who might be in need. This is why they are here. They're not going to get the correct information, but only lies and deception from their shiuch, ustaz and imam. So I want to ask you to pray with me. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. We pray. Father, thank you for allowing me to do another live stream again. Please bless our audience, all the admins and our subscribers. Bless us and keep all of us, including our loved ones and families, keep all of them healthy and safe. I want to ask you, O oh Lord, to keep my wife and baby boy healthy and safe. Protect them and bless them, Father. And bless everybody who is here now and listening and watching to our very live stream. Thank you for this amazing, lovely audience and subscribers who are always here to support us for so many years now, day in, day out. Lord Christ, I pray to you. Oh, Jesus Christ, O oh our Lord and Savior, I beg you, I ask you to cleanse us with your holy blood and fill us with your Holy Spirit, O oh Lord Christ. Yes, Lord, we need you. Without you, we are nothing. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Please, Lord, shine your holy light on all of us, including the Muslims who might be in need and are seeking for the truth. Please, Lord, open their eyes so also they can be saved. Christ, fill me with your Holy Spirit and loosen my tongue today and guide me so I can speak the truth. Nothing but the truth, O Lord Christ. Nothing but the truth, without any error or any shame. Lord, give us wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done in your holy name. In your holy name, O Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Welcome, everybody. We are live, live, live. Speaking from Cave, Hira, Hira, we are live, live, live. We are back, baby. We are live, baby. Let's go. Guys, again, this is another nuclear bomb that we are going to drop on the face of the Islamic Ummah. And no Muslim scholar, mark my words, no Muslim scholar would dare to refute me because the material that we are going to present again for you on day two of this marathon is so sahih that they only can do is tap dance, doing mental gymnastics. They know, they know that the satanic verses, which makes Muhammad a prophet of Satan, is true. It's a historical event in the life of Muhammad. So guys, do you have any idea what this means? If Muhammad delivered satanic verses and he bowed down to Allah al uzza wal manat in Mecca in the seventh century, that goes against the very doctrine of Islam, that there is only one God, which is Allah. How can Muhammad bow down, deliver satanic verses and bow down to Allah al uzza wal manat the idols of the Quraysh in Mecca, while, while, while claiming that he is the prophet, the last and final prophet of the one true God, Allah. That's a huge contradiction and that puts Muhammad in a really awkward position. So today's live show, again, guys, today's live show is really important. Please invite Please share, let the numbers grow, all for the glory of Christ. Come on, guys. Yes, this makes Muhammad shirk, a mushrik, guys. Yes, Adrian Deku. Come on, guys. Invite. And let us start. All right, all right. Let me change the screens, guys. All right. And let us actually start. As you see here in front of you, I took a screenshot from one of the books that you are going to... Uh, present to you and I put my own stuff on top of it and you see here 
the isnad, the chain of narration is sahih. Someone before the live chat started, or uh, before the live stream started, he asked me, what is isnad? The isnad means the people who are inside the report, right? Let's say uh, Muhammad says something, and then you have, uh, uh, for example, Ali, Ibn Mas'ud, uh, someone, uh, and the successors of the of the Sahaba, and all the way to the last guy, right? So all these people must be trustworthy. They must be trustworthy for a hadith, and they call it signs of hadith, right? Signs of hadith for such a hadith to be called sahih. So it must be 100% Waterproof, right? That's what it means. Sahih. So we have Sahih reports, Sahih authentic hadith. One hadith means one hadith. More than one hadith is called a hadith. Plural, singular. Plural, singular. Hadith, a hadith. All right. Okay. So we have more than one hadith that is Sahih about this story. More than one. And this is damaging, guys. This proves that Muhammad was the prophet of Satan. Muhammad was the prophet of Satan. And this d contradicts the doctrine of Islam. How can Muhammad claim to be the last prophet, the seal of all the prophets, while well, he delivered satanic verses, as, as I said earlier, and he bowed down to Allah al uzza wal manat in Mecca. All right, I hope there are Muslims watching. I hope you Christians invited some Muslims. We have at least one Muslim who is scared, who is scared. He is triggered. He doesn't want us to talk about this topic, so he gave us a dislike. That's good. I want more dislikes. That means we have more Muslims who are here. Muslims, please don't forget to give us a dislike, Christians. Please give us a like. All right, let us start. As we mentioned last time, this awesome guy by the name of Salman Rushdie in the 80s, 80s, I think it was the 80s, he wrote a book called The Satanic Verses and it caused a huge chain reaction in the Islamic Ummah, in the Islamic nation. And he said, and I quote, Prophet Muhammad would have no objection to the Satanic Verses, end quote. So if Muhammad... If Muhammad was there and he would have been asked about the satanic verses, Muhammad would have not denied it, that it truly happened. It's a true historical event in the life of Muhammad, the satanic verses. Yet Muslims of today who are too embarrassed about their prophet, about what happened 1400 years ago in Mecca, Muhammad delivering the satanic verses, they have to lie about their prophet. They have to protect their prophet with lies, taqiyya and deception. Mecca of Allah, the best of deceivers. Right? Wallahu khayrul makarin. Allah is the best of deceivers. So what do you expect from today's Muslims who are in a really who are set in a really awkward position? And remember, guys, I need to tell you all the time, whenever you debate a Muslim, he or she is allowed to lie in your face. Don't forget that. Whenever you start debating a Muslim, always keep it in the back of your mind. According to Sharia Allah, according to the fiqh. They are allowed to lie to you during a debate. They are allowed to deceive you just to win the argument. Never ever, mark my words, never ever forget that. All right? They are allowed to lie. But you, on the other hand, as a Christian, you are not allowed to lie. Right? What does that mean? What does this say about Islam? Now, guys, how do the satanic verses sound? When Muhammad was in Mecca among the pagan of Quraysh, his own tribe, his own family. The infamous satanic verses which Muhammad delivered to the pagans, the Quraysh of Mecca, his own family, his own tribe, sounds like this in the Arabic. Focus guys, please. Admins take over. If there are admins, please take over. It sounds like this in the Arabic. And these are two verses as you see, verse one and verse two, from right to left in the Arabic. Again, so this is what Muhammad said to the Quraysh of Mecca. And these are beautiful words about their idols, the bird idols, the crane bird idols. So the Quraysh, what they used to believe is that 
the idols that used to look like this, like birds, you know, cranes. These birds are called cranes, right? These crane bird idols used to deliver the prayers, the prayers, right? They used to fly and deliver the prayers like meal, let's say, all the way to the supreme god of the Quraysh, Allah, who used to be called also Hubal or Baal or Sin. Allah has many nicknames and we know it's Satan. Satan is a shapeshifter. He has many nicknames. So Satan is behind Islam. Satan is behind Islam. So the Quraysh used to worship Allah and they had simply intercessors, right? They were muwahidun billah. They used to practice Tawheed. What, what, what? <laughs> Are you saying before Islam there was something called Tawheed? Yes, the answer is yes, because Tawheed does not mean oneness. It means unification. Tawheed means unification. Unification. To unify the intercessors with Allah, the Supreme Moon God. Did you catch it? So what did Muhammad do? He removed later on when he got busted. He removed the bird idols. He destroyed them, right? These stone idols. And he only kept Allah and the black stone. Instead, he made himself an intercessor. He made the black stone that will have a tongue, that will have a mouth and speak. The black stone became an intercessor. And the Quran itself, all the chapters of the Quran will intercede. Did you catch what Muhammad did? He didn't come with anything new. He only changed it. He only changed it. Right? Islam is nothing but uh, copy-paste. So don't allow any Muslim to tell you Tawheed means oneness. No, that's a lie. And let me give you an example in Arabic. Ana awahid. You hear the verb? Tawheed awahid. Ana awahid. Ana awahid. Al mar'a ma zawjaha. If I would be an imam, I would say ana awahid. Al mar'a ma zawjaha. To become one. I am unifying the woman with her husband to become one. Awahid. Verb. Tawheed. The noun. Did you catch it? Wow. You see how they lie? Even about the word? Yes. They lie about the meaning of Tawheed. And uh, as you see here, let us go back. So I gave you the transliteration of the Arabic. Take a screenshot and use this in your debates. All right? Meaning these are the exalted cranes, the bird idols, and their intercession is hoped for. So this is what Muhammad literally said to the Quraysh. These are the satanic verses that he gave to the Quraysh. And where do they used to be? Between chapter 53, ayah 20 and 21. Here, here in the middle. Do you see it? The satanic verses before abrogation, eight years before the abrogation, they used to be here in Surat and Najm. Chapter 53 is called Surat and Najm, the star. Right, the stars, Surat and Najm, the stars. Have you seen or have you considered Allah al Uzza wal Manat, the third, the last one? And then Satan comes in between and put on the tongue of Muhammad, Tilkal Gharani Kal Ula, wa in Shafa'at Huna la Turtaja. Have you seen Allah al Uzza wal Manat? You know, and then these are the exalted cranes, the exalted high cranes. And their intercession is hoped for. And then Muhammad continues not knowing that this is Satan who is giving him satanic satanic revelation. Not knowing the difference between Allah and Satan. Muhammad was, that very day, he was the prophet of Satan. Now, Muslims always cry. What about our scholars? What do they, our scholars say? Well, what about Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani? Have you heard of him, Muslims? Have you heard of Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani? Uh, free, free, free bird. Last time you told me you are not uh, scared of me. Well, uh, you can call me, right? If you're not scared, I challenge you or your sheikh or imam to call me. Let me open Skype. Maybe a Muslim can call us, guys, and uh, defend his satanic prophet. I mean, talk is cheap. We're not afraid of you, Rob. Okay, why are you so scared? Why are you so scared of me? To call me and refute me. Do you have any d guts? Do you call yourself a man? Are you more man than Aisha? Then call me. If there's a sheikh today, right here, right now, who can save the ummah from my hands, spanking Muhammad, the satanic prophet, I challenge you to call me. 
This is the best time for the, our Indonesian people, right? People from Malaysia, Indonesia. If there's who stars, if there's who stars who thinks he has the courage and the knowledge, let him call me. Let's see what will happen to him. I promise you guys, I'm going to embarrass him and his fake fraud prophet. This is my promise to you guys. Uh, free, the joke is on you. I mean, talk is cheap. Brother Rob, you're, you're a joke. Well, the only joke is on you. You cowardice. You small kittens. You puppies who are too scared to refute me. What does it say about you? Talk is cheap, brother. Everybody can say in the chat, uh, you're a joke, brother. You are a joke. Okay, back it up. Back it up. Prove that Rob Christian is a joke. I would love to be proven wrong, guys. Maybe, you know, finally, after 15 years, I can do something uh, different. Guys, I am tired of this evil cult. I am tired of this evil cult. But we have to continue. We have to continue showing the world what kind of evil satanic cult Islam is and what kind of evil satanic prophet Muhammad was. And as long Muslims cannot refute us, I will continue bringing the, on the hammer. I will continue bringing down the hammer on the face of Muhammad. And no Muslim can do anything about it but insult us. Right? Do you have any Muhammadan? We have at least this, two dislikes. That means we have two Muhammadan black stone kissers. Ya mushrikeen. Ya awlad Aisha. You sons of Aisha. Call me if you're more, more man. If you are more man than your mother Aisha. Call me. Right? If you claim to be more man than your mother Aisha. Call me. And I, But uh, make sure to say inshallah. Because I'm going to embarrass you and your prophet in, instead. Maybe Allah will help you brother. What about Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani, guys? Let us focus again, please. Admins, take care of the live chat. Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani, a recognized authority on traditions. Ibn Hajar, guys, for the people who do not know, Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani, he wrote a multi-volume commentary on Sahih al-Bukhari. So he's one of the giants, right? He's one of the giant scholars in Islam. Ibn Hajar, a recognized authority on traditions, insists on the truth of their report meaning the satanic verses, and says, as we have mentioned above, three of its chains of narrators satisfy the conditions required for an authentic report. Do you understand what is, uh, what is saying here? What Ibn Hajar is saying here? Ibn Hajar is saying that there are th at least three hadiths that are actually authentic. Sahih. And here is the reference in the Bottom, guys. So if you like to take a screenshot and use this, do so. All right? That's what Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani said. What about Ibn Taymiyyah, Shaykh al-Islam? People like uh, Ibn Fibn, uh, Farooq, uh, Fifi, Mimi, Shushu, Lili, all these uh, uh, Muhammadans who call themselves uh, Salafis, Salafi, Sunni Salafi Muslims, they follow his teaching, Ibn Taymiyyah. They call him their sheikh, right? Sheikh al-Islam. Uh, you don't get that nickname for nothing, right? Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. What did Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah thought about the satanic verses? What did he think? Ibn Taymiyyah, against the major majoritarian opinion of the scholars of this day, so the Muslims of today are too embarrassed, they have to lie, but Ibn Taymiyyah accepted the historicity consonant with Muhammad's status and mission as the messenger of Allah. So he accepted the historicity of the satanic verses. Rob, at least read the sentences right. Sorry, guys, let me read again. Ibn Taymiyyah accepted the historicity of the satanic verses as something wholly consonant with Muhammad's status and mission as the messenger of Allah. Ibn Taymiyyah asserted that belief in the incident was the position of the early Muslims, the Salaf. Wow. And thus the original and authentic truth. So Ibn Taymiyyah believed that the satanic verses are true? Yes. Authentic? Truth? Yes. And this is an article written by Shahab Ahmed, a Muslim. And uh, it's called Ibn Taymiyyah and the Satanic Verses. And he wrote it in 1998, page 122. Ibn Taymiyyah. This is Ibn Taymiyyah for you, ya Muslimin. I challenge any Muhammadan who calls Ibn Taymiyyah a liar and deceiver. Can you do that for me, please? 
Maybe uh, Ibn Hajar. What about him? Liar too? Well, it's your funeral. Now, guys, how many times have you heard the following arguments? Now, here is the Muslim main argument. Muslims of today who are too embarrassed about their satanic prophet will say the following. The hadith about the satanic verses is fabricated. We reject it. The hadith is da'if. The hadith is mursal. Especially the last one. Guys, last time I already explained what the mursal hadith is. What is a murth mursal? A mursal hadith. What is that, Rob Christian? For the people who have heard about this word, be, uh, or, or didn't heard about this word before, let me explain it. A mursal hadith, guys. A mursal hadith is when you have, let's say, you have in a chain, right? You have a hadith, and in that hadith you have a chain, right? Chain of people, the people who are reporting the hadith, the people inside the chain. You have, uh, let's say, a follower of the Sahaba. A tabi'i, called a tabi'i. The tabi'in, you have a Sahabi, and you have Muhammad inside the chain. So Muhammad, it's, uh, often you see, Muhammad said, the messenger of Allah said, and the people who are reporting is, these are the people, right? You have the, the tabi'in, the Sahabi, and the companion, and Muhammad, all the way to Muhammad. So what, the, what happens in a Mursal Hadith? There's a gap. There is a gap, right? And I put a red cross here, as you see. A tabi'i, a successor of the companions, a follower of the companions, a student of the companions, he skips to mention the name of, let's say, or Bay ibn Ka'ab or Ibn Mas'ud or uh, whatever, right? Any uh, Sahabi who is inside the chain. And he skips it, and that means there's a gap, right? There is a small gap, a gap. Now, often Muslims pick their cherries. Sometimes they accept it and say, yeah, we, this is, this is uh, okay. We accept it. But when it doesn't suit their agenda, they say, no, no, we have to reject it because it's Mursal. Uh, there's a problem in the chain. So again, a tabi'i, a follower of the companions, a tabi'i quotes the prophet, he quotes Muhammad inside the chain, but he forgot or uh, he's not mentioning the Sahabi. So there's a problem in the chain, according to the Muslims. So we reject it. And are about the satanic verses, there are around four or five Mursal hadiths, right? Mursal hadiths. So they play those games, those mind games, those mental gymnastics. Islam is nothing but mental gymnastics. And they call this the science of hadith. They are so proud about this term, right? They are so proud about this term, the science of hadith. That's what they call it, right? Science of hadith. They are so proud about it. But when it suits their agenda, they are going to, you know, pick their cherries. You know, I know it's Marcel, but I'm going to accept it anyway. It has uh, some uh, really important information inside it. But when it embarrasses their prophet, they are going to reject it, of course. Everything that embarrasses Muhammad, even if, if it's sahih, they are going to throw it under the bus. They are going to throw the tabi'in, they are going to throw the sahaba under the bus to save Muhammad tiny little... <clears throat> back right rob be political correct rob no i'm not going to be political correct people who know us we're going to always bring down the hammer on the face of the fraud prophet muhammad right the science of hadith brother it's so we are so proud we are proud about it brother but we are going to pick our cherries right now guys i did many live shows in the past about muhammad nasruddin al-albani Sheikh al-Albani, who wrote a very famous book. He wrote a very famous book because some Pakistani Muslims came and asked him to write a book to defend Muhammad regarding the satanic verses. Right? He wrote a book called Nasb al-Majaniq. Nasb al-Majaniq. Let me put it in the live chat, guys. And we discussed that book last time. By Sheikh Albani, the book called Nasb al Majaniq li Nasf Qissat al Gharaniq, meaning uh, basically setting up catapults, catapults to destroy the satanic verses. That's the title of his book by Sheikh Albani, a modern Sheikh who died basically recently. 
And he became supposedly a, an expert on hadith. This hadith is da'if, this hadith is sahih. Right? That's what he used to do. And people put their trust and salvation on this guy that you see here on the screen. And people like Fifi and so on, they are proud about him. But many shiuch, many scholars even used to critique him. Many Muslims don't know this. They used to call him a liar and deceiver. Why? Because sometimes he make a hadith that is sahih, da'if, and other way around a hadith that is da'if, sahih. So uh, he used to be criticized, not only, right, accepted. Can you, can you imagine, guys? Sometimes they call him a liar and a deceiver, and sometimes they accept what he do. Can you imagine what, they are, what is happening in the Muslim world, guys? Sometimes, sometimes this guy is highly accepted, highly respected, but sometimes they call him a liar. What is it? Is he a liar? Is he, what is he? Pick and choose, yeah, Muslimin. Anyway, what can we expect from Muslims? Now, guys, I want to play some short video clips for you to tell you or, or, or to give you an idea, to give you an idea how Muslims think, what Muslims think of today, what they think about the satanic verses. I'm going to show you what the scholars, modern scholars say about the satanic verses today and how afterwards, how we are going to spank them like their fake prophet without any mercy. So put on your headsets, guys, with all jokes aside. People in the live chat, please focus. Are you focused? Guys, uh, when we do live shows, this is not the right place to joke around and play in the live chat. Uh, if you want to play somewhere, go play somewhere else. This is not a play your playground. My live chat is not your playground. Go play somewhere else, okay? So focus with me. If you love what we do, if you care about the truth, if you want those Muslims to be helped, because they are the ones who are nothing but zombies who cannot use their brains. They are deluded the moment they are born in this evil cult in their families, in their Muslim families. If you want to help them out, spread our videos, download our videos, do what you have to do. Take snippets, but at least take notes and screenshots and use them in your debates. Especially you, our Indonesian friends, Malaysian friends, you have some homework to do. You have some homework to do because only the truth and knowledge can bring down this evil cult. Destroy this evil cult from the inside out. Only the truth is the only weapon against this evil cult. All right? So let us show you what modern Muslims today, who are too embarrassed, they know that the satanic verses is an historical fact, but they have to lie. Watch. Watch. All right. All right, all right. You see here, this is Ibn Fibbin, right? I mean, come on, you don't know Ibn Fibbin? We made him a joke. We made him the joke of the Ummah. And Muslims still uh, think this guy uh, is the hero. <laughs> this coward will never ever dare to call me. But uh, anyway, let us play what he's saying and try not to laugh after we spank him. Let me explain the satanic verses issue. Right. The Quran has never had anything but what it has in it. This idea of satanic verses that Sulman Rushdie became famous by writing a horribly written book on is based on what's called a fabricated hadith. We Did you catch it? He calls the hadith fabricated. Now, if we can prove, guys, if we can prove that the hadith is not fabricated, it's sahih, that means this guy is a joke and any Muslim who follows him is a bigger joke than him. Right? If we can prove that the hadith is not fabricated as he just said, that means the, all these scholars of today, all these Muslims who call themselves scholars and shiuch and whatnot, they are nothing but liars and deceivers. That right? Sulman Rushdie became famous by writing a horribly written book on is based on what's called a fabricated hadith. We call it in Arabic, mawdu'a. Mawdu'a means that it doesn't have a, a chain of narrations mm -hmm. Did going you catch to it? the Prophet, peace be upon him. So according to Ibn Fibbin here, it does not have a correct chain, not an authentic chain that goes all the way back to Muhammad. Boy, oh boy, we're going to spank that lie. We're going to spank you and put you in your place, Ibn Fibbin. And if any Muslim dares about the truth, you should stop following this guy because he's nothing but a liar. He lies to your face and you swallow his lies. 
If you care about the truth and you call yourself a, a seeker of truth, mark my words how we are going to spank him, expose his lies, and any scholar who is too embarrassed about the, his satanic prophet who delivered the satanic verses. Bear with me, please. So you get the idea what Muslim scholars today say. Here is another guy. Here is another sheikh in the Arab world. So this guy speaks English, but the other guy that we're going to play, play the video, he is an Arabic scholar, and he is going to say exactly the same. ولا يجعل فينا ولا منا ولا معنا شقية ولا محرومة قصة ما أدري هي مشهورة عندكم أو لا ما أدري أنا لكن هي مشهورة في الكتب في كتب السيرة مشهورة جدا وعلى ما أظن أن الكثيرين منكم سمعوا بها يقينا والأكثر قرأوها وهي قصة تسمى بقصة الغرانيق الذي سمع بها فقط أو قرأها أو سمع عنها يرفع يده بس فقط حتى أعرف طيب والبقية لم يسمعوا بها طيب قصة الغرانيق باختصار تعلمون أن سورة من القرآن الكريم اسمها سورة النجم وفي هذه السورة وهي سورة مكية وفي هذه السورة قول الله تبارك وتعالى أفرأيتم اللات والعزة ومنات الثالثة الأخرى بعدين شنو ها ألكم الذكر أكيد خاف محافظين ألكم الذكر وله الأنثى هذه القصة تقول خلاف ذلك تقول إن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لما قرأ أفرأيتم اللات والعزة ومنات الثالثة الأخرى تلك الغرانيق العلا وَإِنَّ شَفَاعَتَهُنَّ لَتُرْتَجَ So this is, this is the part which we call the satanic verses that you see here. These are the high cranes, the bird idols, اللات العزة والمنات, and their intercession is hopeful. So Muhammad delivered exactly those words in the Arabic. تِلْكَ الْغَرَانِيقَ الْعُلَى وَإِنَّ شَفَاعَتَهُنَّ لَتُرْتَجَ That's what Muhammad said to the Quraysh of Mecca, his own tribe, who Muslims today call the pagans. So Muhammad that day became a pagan and he worshipped and prostrated. He did sujood together with all the mushrikeen of Mecca. He became a mushrik and he bowed down. He prostrated. He did sujood to Allah, Al-Uzza, wal manat Let us continue. Can Muhammad say this and get away with it? Right? Can Muhammad say this? And still claim to be a prophet of God? Or a prophet of Satan? Huh? What's it? النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم الذي كان يعيب آلهتهم How is it possible? في لحظة هكذا وبدون مقدمات يمدحوا هذا How is it possible that Muhammad suddenly start to uh, worship those idols deliver the, uh, those beautiful words about the idols and not only that prostrate Guys all these words that you see here we have a hadith that is very sahih very sahih right I'm going to show you a hadith word for word very sahih but look what the Sheikh in the end will say. What do you think, guys, in the last chat? Is he going to say it's authentic or is he going to lie like Sheikh Ibn Fibbe and say it's fabricated? The isnad, the chain of narration of the hadith is uh, incorrect, false, fabricated like Sheikh. What do you think, guys, in the last chat? He was going to lie or he's going to tell the truth? Muslims, Christians in the last chat, what do you think? He's going to lie? Is he going to say it's authentic or is he going to say it's a lie, it's a fabrication, it's incorrect? Lie, of course, of course. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Muhammad did sujood and everyone became a Muslim that day, including Muhammad and the Sahaba. Uh-huh. 
they prostrated and he prostrated هذه القصة موجودة في كتب السير ذكرها أكثر بل كله فيما أعلم من كتب في السير ذكر هذه القصة من ذاكر لها على إطلاقها كذا منهم من يطلق يذكرها ويتعقبها ومنهم من يحذر منها ومنهم من يبطل كذبها وغير ذلك كثير فالقصد أن هذه القصة yes. من أساسها أولا ليس لها إسناد صحيح آه did you catch it the story on itself has no correct إسناد that proves that it happened did you catch it so <laughs> this guy also called a fabrication like uh, Ibn Fibn it's a fabrication brother the satanic verses never happened the enemies of Allah fabricated this about our prophet that's what uh, Ibn Fibn said right that's what Ibn Fibn said if I go back look it means that it doesn't have a, a chain of narrations mm -hmm. going to the prophet peace be upon him so this was a fabrication but Muslim scholars across the board not why, not why would they why would they Look, look, look. Also, there are many people who converted or seemingly converted to Islam or reverted to Islam, but they were people who were in their hearts enemies of Islam. Ah, so, so the enemies of Islam who claim to be Muslims fabricated this about Muhammad. Did you catch it? He just threw the Tabi'een and even Ibn Abbas under the bus. Guys, just watch. I have proof you are he's lying about the Tabi'een. And even one of the important Sahaba, who is called Ink of the Ummah, right? Ink of the Ummah, Tarjaman al Quran, Hibr al Ummah, Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad himself. Watch. Guys, now let us prove these liars wrong, spank them for everybody to see. Without any mercy, we're going to spank them and put them in their place. And any Muhammadan. Any Muhammad who cares about the truth, not these jokers and trolls. Any Muhammadan who is serious about his salvation, about his safety, should leave Islam immediately and never ever follow or subscribe to these lies and deceivers on their YouTube channels. Remember, without lies, Islam dies. Again, without lies, Islam dies. That's what we always say. Now, guys, I have two Different references, not one, but two. From two different books. You see, this is book number one. This is book number two. One, two, right? That will prove my point and rebuke all these lies and deceivers who call themselves Ustaz, Shiyukh. These two the guys that we just showed you, right, from the video, they are nothing but lies and deceivers. Like any Muslim apologist today, any Muslim scholar today who is going to lie to save Muhammad, Little tiny <clears throat> from our hands. Now, guys, here's reference number one. Let's uh, start with this one first. The book is called Adhur al Manthur, and we're going to go to pages 525 and so on. Volume 10 by Jalal al Din al Suyuti, who wrote Tafsir al Jalalain. The same guy, the same guy who wrote Tafsir al Jalalain, that Jalal al Din al Suyuti. And reference number two. We can find the information in Majma al Zawaid, Wa Manba al Fawaid, page, the in book page 115, volume 7, by Sheikh Imam al Hafiz al Haythami. This is reference number two. So we have not only one, but two authentic chains, not da'if, not fabricated like Ibn Fibn said. Authentic reports. Every person inside that chain of narration is trustworthy all the men are the men of a sahih guys why are you talking about cp what has cp uh, to do with this guys what's going on with cp cp what's what's going on people in the live chat why are you distracting uh albania prince yes is there anyone who says they are authentic watch just just a Take a, take a deep breath. Yes, it's authentic. Watch. Take your time. Let it sink in. Two references that say it's authentic. Two, not one, not, not one, but two. Okay? So who are the people? Why are you talking about CP? Where is CP? Is CP here? No, CP is not here. So why are you talking about CP, guys? Come on. Admins, focus. 
Don't allow anyone from now on, don't allow anyone to get distracted. If you are here to learn, stay here. If you are here to play, you're going to be time out by our admins and you can go play maybe in the sandbox with the other children, okay? Someone is calling me Christian Prince. Uh, that's a too big honor, man. Okay, now I understand. Up by friends, I. Uh, yeah, that's a too too big honor, guys. If you are associating me with Christian Prince, I mean Christian Prince is the living legend himself, man. So uh, I will take that as a positive thing. Uh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Uh, but I'm not Christian Prince. I'm not Christian Prince. I'm Rob Christian. I'm a different guy. And I hope that Christian Prince will bring up these books, but I know that Christian Prince never brought these books before. I am the first guy, again, without bragging, I am the first guy who is bringing up these books. And we're going to take a deep dive in these books and show you the truth about the satanic verses. CP, I've for the last 25 years that I've watched CP, he never brought these books before. So I'm the first guy uh, guys, I'm not trying to brag, but someone has, must do it, and I hope CP will do it in the future too. I hope CP is going to use this information too. I know uh, there are... Guys, you need to understand, some people think only Kitab al-Sitta, Kitab al-Sitta, what are Kitab al-Sitta, uh, Rob? These are uh, Sayyid al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, uh, Sunan ibn Majah, because I missed one of the questions last time. Kitab al-Sitta, guys, the six books, they, m many people think that's the Sunnah. No, 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 guys. All these books, all these books are Sunnah. The Tafasir, the Hadith, all of them are Sunnah. All these books that you see here are accepted. Not only uh, Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, no. Guys, learn. There are overwhelming amount of books that are not yet translated, but are accepted. Do have authentic Hadith. They have authentic sahih hadiths, but you don't know about it. So we are sharing them with you. So not only the six books from, let's say, sunnah.com, for example, right? Or quranx.com where you can find the, the hadith too. Not, not only those are uh, the sunnah. All these books that we are sharing with you are sunnah, okay? Guys, did you catch it? Did you catch it? There are overwhelming amount of books that are not fully translated yet, but are used by the Muslim scholars and are regarded as sunnah. Which means the teaching, the tradition of Muhammad. What Muhammad used to eat, how to eat, how to clean your uh, behind when you go to the toilet, and so on and so on. Every, all, all these books explain that, right? Brother, you must use three stones to clean your behind, brother. That's sunnah, brother. That's what Muhammad said, brother, so we have to do the same. Brother. Okay, I hope you caught it. Uh, free bird, please cry me a river and let my admins treat you like a joke that you are. And the only joke is you, brother. I hope you like that you became my personal limmy. Please cry. Cry me a river. Oh, cry me a river. Oh, Rob Christian, please stop spanking our satanic prophet. Oh, I'm going to cry you a river, Rob. Oh, yeah, sorry guys for that. Yeah. I hope I did not break, break all the mirrors and all the glasses in your houses. I mean, I, my, my sound is sweet, brother. Maybe I should uh, record uh, some tracks, brother. Uh, guys, let us go back. With all jokes aside, let us go back. Let us start with reference number one, Adhur al-Manthur by Jalal al Suyuti, volume 10, pages 525 and so on. Hey, guys, this is Adhur al-Manthur, Adhur al-Manthur by Jalal al-Din al-Suyuti who wrote Tafsir al-Jalani. This is his book. I have nothing to do with it. I simply downloaded this book. And if you are interested, I can give you... Sorry, I can give you this book too. Just a second. Let me give you the link. Now, most people uh, don't know Arabic, but before they call us uh, Google, uh, Google scholars, you know, they always insult us, right? They say, Rob Christian... David Wood, Christian Prince, you're all Google scholars. You Google, brother. No, we download the books. We read your books. Okay? See, this is a PDF file. A huge PDF file. Okay? 
This is the actual book copied, right? And we can download it and use it for free. Imagine, guys, we should thank our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who created the internet. Now, because of the internet, everything becomes free and downloadable to, to destroy this evil cult with the knowledge and the truth. The more you study Islam, guys, the more you take a deep dive, you are have you are having the knowledge. And the knowledge and the truth is key to destroy this evil cult. So what did uh, Yasser Qadi say? Can we take the advice of Yasser Qadi? When you do a deep dive, I'm a scuba diver. When you do a deep dive, I'm a scuba diver. Things get very, very awkward. So when you take a deep dive in the Islamic books, things will become really awkward for the satanic prophet Muhammad. And it's evil satanic cult. Now guys, in this book, if we go to page 525, it's on the screen, page 525. I tried to put uh, the numbers of the pages and uh, you see here also uh, what it's talking about. It's talking about chapter 22, ayah 52 of the Quran. So Surat Al-Hajj, when Muhammad was in Medina, chapter 22, ayah 52 to 55, page 525. In this very book here in front of you, Dhur al-Manthur by Jalal al-Din al-Suyuti, who wrote Tafsir al-Jalali. On page 525, guys, we see the Satanic Verses report. And here, if we scroll down, it says here, Meaning, the Isnad, its men are trustworthy. How did it become fabricated? Ibn Fibin, you said it's fabricated. Yeah, Sheikh uh, Uthman al-Khamis, you said it's fabricated, the, the chain is incorrect. Well, here it says, بِإِسْنَادٍ رِجَالَهُ ثِقَاتٍ بِإِسْنَادٍ رِجَالَهُ ثِقَاتٍ The men who are inside the chain are trustworthy. Did you catch it? You see, when we just took a deep dive in this very book of Jalal al-Din al-Suyuti, it becomes awkward, awkwardly silent, for these Muslim scholars today who are now getting spanked left and right by me, Rob Christian, who is doing the homework of the Muslims who are not doing their homework. We Christians have to do the homework of the Muslims who are not studying if, could it be a chance that these scholars are lying to save Muhammad, to save the Ummah from drowning? Remember, there's going to be, be an, a wave a tsunami, an avalanche that will knock over the ummah the moment you start to investigate this evil cult and the books. So, according to this report, the people in the chain, the men in the chain are trustworthy. Thiqat. Here it says, Al-Bazaru, Wa-Tabarani, wa ibn so on and so on. And then it says, the people inside the chain from the side of Sa'id, Bin Jubair and Ibn Abbas. Do you hear it? From Ibn Abbas. Hebr al-Ummah, the cousin of Muhammad. The ink of the Ummah himself. Muhammad told you to go to Ibn Abbas if you want tafsir for the Quran. If you want to understand the Quran. Ibn Abbas is inside the chain. And it says here the men who are in the chain are what? Trustworthy. Ibn Abbas, you hear it? The cousin of Muhammad himself is in the chain. Muslims will lie about it, right? Call it fabrication. How is it fabrication? Look what it says here. It's trustworthy. The chain, the people in the chain are trustworthy. Okay, so an Ibn Abbas, from Ibn Abbas, that he said that in, in Rasulullah, so Muhammad, Muhammad, Sallallahu Muhammad, Sallallahu Muhammad, Allah praying on him, he start to read. Qara'a, he starts to read. What, what did he read? So Muhammad, guys, basically starts to read this. Have you seen Alat al Uzza and the other, the third manat? So Muhammad starts to read Surah Al Najm. Guys, focus, please. Muhammad is in Mecca and he starts to read. These two ayahs, have you seen Lat and Al-Uzza and another, the third, Manat? When he reached here, look what happens next, guys. Are you focused, guys? 
And then Satan comes in between. Here, Satan comes in between. These are the exalted high cranes, the bird idols. What? Guys, Muhammad not realizing that it's Satan who is putting the satanic verses immediately after the two verses. Here in between, do you see it? Muhammad starts to read ayah 19 and 20 and then Satan comes in between. And then he continues, not realizing this is Satan who is overpowering Jibreel and Allah. Satan is so strong that Muhammad not realizing that he is giving satanic verses. Where are the shiuch? Where are the shiuch who are calling this a fabrication? Where are the shiuch who are calling this a fabrication? Ya yeah, Muhammad Hamdan, this is boring because this is spanking your prophet. This is why you're calling it boring, right? The truth is boring. Guys, do you see Muhammad Hamdan in the live chat? The truth, he's saying the truth is boring. Well, uh, it's your funeral, it's your janazah. This is your salvation, brother. You have to accept that Muhammad became this, the prophet of Satan that day. So, not realizing, he continues saying, Chapter 53, ayahs 19 and 20. Then Satan comes and puts on his tongue. Meaning, these are the exalted bird idols and their intercession is hoped for. The gharaniq, right? The gharaniq are the bird idols. And then the, the mushrikeen, guys, it says here, so the, the mushrikun they became very happy with the words of Muhammad about their idols. Bidalika Wakalu Kad Dakara Ilahatina. Do you see it? And he he just the, the, the mushrikeen guys, the mushrikeen, which are the pagans, the pagans of Mecca, they start to rejoice. They started to rejoice. They said, You see, Muhammad. Muhammad is saying beautiful, brother, beautiful words about our idols. Right? Muhammad just said beautiful words about our idols. Right? That's what the, they are saying, right? About, guys, I am trying to type, but it's not working. Okay. Muhammad is saying beautiful words about our idols. So they are, they are shocked. The Quraysh guys, the, the, the pagan family of Muhammad, they start to rejoice. They are happy with Muhammad now. And then Jibreel came and he said to him, Hey, can you uh, repeat, can you again read what you just said? And then Muhammad starts to read again. So Jibreel now comes to spank Muhammad. So Jibreel is testing Muhammad out. Guys, that's what it says here. فَقَرَأَ So Muhammad starts to read again. أَفَرَأَيْتُ مَنْ لَا تَوَالْعُزَّ وَمَنَاتَ الثَّالِثَةُ الْأُخْرَى And then he repeats the satanic verse, not for, the, for one, but two times. تِلْكَ الْغَرَانِيقَ This is Muhammad talking, guys. تِلْكَ الْغَرَانِيقَ الْعُلَى وَإِنَّ شَفَاعَتُهُنَّ لَتُرْتَجَى Muhammad again repeats the satanic verses. فَقَالَ Jibreel said, Jibreel himself, supposedly the angel Jibreel, Jibreel said, I did not bring you this part. This is from Satan. This is from Satan. Oh Muhammad, I did not bring you. This is not Quran. This is satanic. This is these are satanic verses from Satan. Jibreel is saying to Muhammad. Jibreel confirms that this is from Satan. Jibreel says to Muhammad again. Jibreel says to Muhammad. Guys, look how damaging this is. Jibreel says to Muhammad, this is from Satan. Wow! Even Jibreel confirms that this is, these are satanic verses. Even Jibreel confirms that Muhammad became that day the prophet of Satan. And then Allah starts to abrogate. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ مِنْ رَسُولٍ وَلَا نَبِيٍّ إِلَّا إِذَا تَمَنَّا إِلَى آخر الْآيَةِ To the rest of the ayah. So then, Muhammad's Allah, supposedly Allah, 
We know it's Satan. Uh, Satan is playing mind games with Muhammad, right? Muhammad's Allah, Allah himself then starts to abrogate with chapter 22, ayah 52. After eight years, imagine the Quranic, uh, I mean, sorry, the, the satanic verses inside the Quran stayed in the Quran for eight years and I'm going to prove it. Why? Just wait for me. We have still to show you reference number two. Just a second, guys. All right? So Allah then decides after eight years to abrogate the satanic verses. Wow. 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 Now, guys, this is my translation. This is my translation. I hope you can take a screenshot for this page again, right? I, I guys, today, last time I didn't do it, but today I... I made my translation and I did it for the second one. So guys, on the same page, there is not one but two, two ahadith. One is trustworthy. The people in the chain are trustworthy. And if you scroll down here on the same page, it says here, this report, this hadith, the isnad, the chain is sahih. Bi-isnad in sahih. So I translated this one because this is even more damaging here. Right? And here in the footer you see وَرِجَالُهُمَّ رِجَالُ sahih. You see it? وَرِجَالُهُمَّ رِجَالُ sahih. This is, these men are the men of Al-Sahih. And this is also, we're going to show you in Majma' Al-Zawaid وَمَنْبَعَ Fawad, Volume 7. And you can find this information in Fath al-Bari. So guys, let me translate this part. So if we go, let's say, to page, just a second, guys, to show you that we are not lying. I'm only taking screenshots. Page, I hope the PDF, it's very huge PDF, guys. Let's see if I actually, I forgot to give you the download link. Here's the download link for this book, Adhur al-Manthur. You can download it yourself for free. Adhur al-Manthur, you can download it for free. This book that you see here in front of you, Surat al-Hajj. Page 526 and 25. So here, you see, sahih, sahih. And we scroll down, then the hadith starts. So I took a screenshot, guys, and I start to translate for you this part. So here, look what it says here. Adhur al-Manthur. Take a screenshot, guys. This is my own personal translation that you will never find anywhere on the internet. This part you will not find on the internet from this book. This is my own personal translation. Again, this is my own personal translation of this page, page 525 and 526. Sahih isnad, sahih, isnad and sahih. You see it? This part here I translated for you. So take a screenshot. It's a long hadith, and I want you to read with me. The reference is again Adhur al Manthur by a Suyuti, Jalal al Din al Suyuti, volume 10. So this is a multi volume. Booklet, so it's volume 10, pages 525 and 526. And as we showed you, Sahih Isnad. Isnad and Sahih. Sahih Isnad. Look what it says here. Ibn Jarir, Ibn al Mundir, and Ibn Hathim, ha Hathim, reported with the Sahih Isnad, the chain. From Sa'id Ibn Jubair, he said, The Messenger of Allah read in Mecca. Guys, read with me. Surah Al Najm, chapter 53, that is. When he reached this part, have you seen Allah al Uzza and, and the, the another, the uh, Manad the third, chapter 53, ayahs 19 and 20? Satan cast on his tongue, these are the high cranes, the Gharaniq, the satanic verses, right? Do you see it? This in red here, the satanic verses. These are the high cranes, and their intercession is hoped for. Take a screenshot, and we're going to scroll down. Have you taken a screenshot, guys? Take a screenshot because this translation is my own personal translation. Do it so I can scroll down. Did you do it, guys? Give me one if you already done it so we can scroll down and continue reading the rest of the hadith. Okay. You took a screenshot? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to scroll down, guys, and continue reading the final part of this hadith. The Quraysh said... After hearing the beautiful words about their idols, these are the high cranes and their intercession is hoped for. The Quraysh said, Muhammad did not mention our idols positively until today. Muhammad did not mention our idols 
in a really positive form until today. Muhammad did sujood. Look what it says then. Muhammad did sujood, prostration to the idols. And they prostrated too. The Quraysh prostrated together along with Muhammad too. Then Jibreel came to him after that and said, I, Jibreel, did not bring you this, i.e. the satanic verses. This is from Satan. Did you catch it? So take a screenshot of this part too, guys. Take a screenshot. Then Allah sent down to abrogate sat the Satan's words, the satanic words. We did not send any messenger or prophet before you, but Satan cast on his stone and to the last of the part of this ayah. Chapter 22, ayah 52. So chapter 22, ayah 52 abrogates supposedly the satanic verses that were for eight long years in Surah an najm in chapter 53. Muhammad not realizing that he just became the prophet of Satan. I hope you took screenshots, guys. If you didn't, you need to watch our live show again and go through the live show and take screenshots because, guys, this information, this translation, you won't find anywhere because these books are not translated yet. All right? This book is not translated yet. And we showed you that this is Sahih. What did uh, Uthman ibn Fibbin said? What did Uthman say? Again, guys, what did Uthman say? means that it doesn't have a, a chain of narrations mm -hmm. going to the prophet peace be upon him so ah. this was a fabrication <laughs> but it's a fabrication how did it become a fabrication you filthy liar how did it become a fabrication huh? how did it become a fabrication we just proved you wrong and we spanked you and you you and your lies remember again this is the hadith in front of you it starts here and starts with that the hadith is be isnad and sahih if we scroll down guys same hadith it continues you see here Said ibn Jubair for the uh, Arabic speaking people among us before you're going to call me a liar right let me make it a little bit bigger Said bin Jubair qala qara Rasulullah bi Mecca so Muhammad starts to read the Mecca surat al najm falamma balagha hadha al mawdu' أَفْرَأَيْتُمْ اللَّاتَ وَالْعُزَّ وَمَنَاتَ الثَّالِثَ الْأُخْرَى سورة النجم chapter 53 eyes 19 and 20 أَلْقَ الشَّيْطَانَ عَلَى لِسَانِهِ Satan cast down on his tongue you see it? this is my translation right? all the people in the chain here we mentioned them the messenger of Allah read in Mecca when he reached this part have you seen اللَّاتَ وَالْعُزَّ Satan cast on his tongue Satan Satan cast on his tongue al-shaytan ala lisani alqa al-shaytan ala lisani tilka al-gharaniqa al-ula wa inna shafa'atahunna laturtaja do you see it? and then uh, it says here that the Quraysh the Quraysh what? the Quraysh were happy they were really happy with Muhammad he never they say he, Muhammad never ever said positive stuff about our idols and then he prostrate, fasajada, sujood, act of worship. Muhammad started to worship, bow down and worship the idols, and they bow down and worship the idols. Act of worship, prostration, sujood. And then we continue reading, it says that Jibreel came and he started to question him, and Muhammad repeating again the satanic verses. And then Jibreel says here, look, Jibreel, I saying, lam, I did not bring you this. Bihada. I did not bring you this. This is from Satan. Hada min shaitan. Jibreel is saying. This is from Satan. Hada min shaitan. Do you see it? Hada min shaitan. The Arabic speakers among us can confirm. And then Allah starts to abrogate the satanic verses. Did you catch it? So my translation is correct. Muhammad starts to do sujood. Muhammad did sujood. And they prostrated too. How dare you to lie, uh, Ibn Fibin? How dare you to lie? You Muslim liars and deceivers you, who you call yourselves the scholars of today. Do you see how modern scholars are too embarrassed and they need to lie and call the satanic verses, the chain, a fabrication? Well, it's sahih. It's sahih. Do you see it? Do you see how they lie and call even their classical scholars liars? Guys, do you see how they lie? 
Don't we always say without lies, Islam dies? Do you see how Ibn Fibn, Farooq, who calls himself Farooq, Uthman Ibn Farooq, Uthman Ibn Farooq just lied. Right? He just lied without any shame and the Muslims are swallowing his lies and deception. Do you see how Muslim apologists today are liars and deceivers? He's not the first and he's certainly not the last who is going to lie to keep the ummah intact. Without lies, Islam dies, truly. Now guys, have you always asked yourselves like me, why Muslims always lie? Why Muslims, why do you have to lie? Because you are allowed to lie to save Islam, right? And today's live show is crystal clear proof. Without the lies of the Muslims today, who are too embarrassed about their satanic prophet, which is a historical event in the life of Muhammad, that Muhammad truly, as we showed you, crystal clear evidence from Sahih hadiths, not one, but two that Muhammad actually did deliver the satanic verses. And evil Jibreel, even Jibreel confirms that it's from Satan. هَذَا مِنَ shaitan, Jibreel said. هَذَا مِنَ shaitan. هَذَا مِنَ shaitan. Let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see. Look, Jibreel, he says, I did not come to, I did not bring you that. لَمْ أَتِكَ بِهَذَا Jibreel is saying, I did not bring this to you. This is from Satan. هذا من الشيطان. Jibreel is saying, this is from Satan. This is from Satan. So the satanic verses are even confirmed by Jibreel. So why you Muslims have to lie? Guys, do you have any idea? Do you have any idea how important today's live show is? This is a huge nuclear bomb. Guys, this information is a bomb. Use it. Take screenshots for the love of God and refute and expose these lies and deceivers. I wish more and more people are going to come to our live shows to see how damaging our live shows are. Do you not understand why Muslims always give us strikes? Right? Flag our videos? Because we are exposing their fake prophet. So the only thing they can do, because they love the evil of Islam, they love to die for the evil of Islam, because they are evil like their fake prophet. From their fruits you will know them. So the only thing they can do is deceive, trickery, right? Forcing a YouTube to give us strikes. So this is why it's important, guys, to subscribe to our secondary channel. My secondary channel, guys, is in the description box. And please keep us in your prayers, guys, because you have no idea how much attacks, how much enemies I have in my life. I have so much enemies, you have no idea. I get overwhelming, overwhelming amount of curses and, 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 and hate. And why? Because I am only reading their Islamic books. I take a deep dive and what do I get? Hate. And they call me a hater. I'm only reading, guys. Have you not noticed that for the last hour I'm only reading? I'm only reading. And they call me a hater? Well, if I'm reading your books... And I'm the hater, that means automatically your books that I'm reading from are full of hate, right? It's a nuke, yes, of course it's a nuke. King Tammuz. And Muhammad Hamdan, you are you are you are really you are really a scared puppy. Call me, call me. My Skype is open, man. Why are you not calling me? Call me. Refute me, I challenge you. Please. Call me and say to everybody, Rob Christian, you are not reading correctly. Please correct my mistakes. Maybe I'm reading incorrect. Please help me, man. Muhammad Hamdan, you are a scared little puppy, and I love it that people like you are so triggered. The only thing you can do is troll the live chat, and my uh, admins are having fun with you, and they are timing you out like a small puppy that you are. The only thing you can do is play mind games. That's it. Oh man, guys, do you have any idea how damaging this is? Muslims cannot refute this part. They cannot. Now let us continue to reference number two. We showed you a Dhr al-Manthur. Guys, we showed you a Dhr al-Manthur. Right? 
ذر المنثور باي جلال الدين السيوطي فوليوم 10 بيجز 525 تو 500 اند سو اون ذس از ريفرنس نمبر 1 ناو ليت اس جو تو ريفرنس نمبر 2 ار يو ريدي جايز ار يو ريدي اي هوب يو ار هافينج سم اوسم درينكس ميبي سم بوب كورن اون ذا سايد رايت ميبي سم بوب كورن get some refreshments guys because this is a lot of fun i am enjoying i'm enjoying this and i hope you're enjoying this with me because the amount of damage that we are doing to islam is overwhelming guys you have no idea how damaging today's live show is i think a lot of people don't realize yet honest to god when i found this guys let me give you some uh, background information couple days ago i have told this before couple days ago The admins know about this. My PC died. And I found out that my power supply that is uh, giving, uh, you know, the power inside the PC, that, pow- that part died on me. So I had to discover, and then I changed it. And uh, during, you know, during that time, I started to read these books. And when I found that, you know, I could not sleep the whole night. I could not help myself, guys, to create those slides to create all these screenshots and whatnot and put it in English because this information, this is my own creation, guys, for you, right? I am trying to help you. So what am I asking from you guys? Help me to help you. Again, help me to help you. Share these videos. Share these videos on social media. Allow them to go viral. Now, what you can do, guys, if this is too long video, take short snippets. You can download an app from the App Store on your mobile, You can download a screen recorder, take snippets, part of these videos, put your Indonesian subtitle or uh, Malaysian or, or whatever language you speak, put it on there and re-upload it on social media, guys, on YouTube, Facebook, and so on. Because Muslims don't know about this information. We need to save a lot of Muslims. We are doing this out of love. And they think we are haters. We are trying to help them, and they call us haters, right? But guys, again, if our Lord and Savior was insulted and persecuted, what about us? Didn't Jesus say, you're going to be persecuted, you're going to be killed in my name? So we know, we know the consequences of delivering the truth, right? And only the truth will set you free. Uh, okay, brother, here, here. Go, go sit in the corner, uh, my little puppy, brother. Here, here's a nice time out for you, Muhammad Hamdan. I'm treating you like a puppy and I know you're enjoying it. Go and sit in the corner, brother, and uh, lick the bone or maybe you can go smidge the black stone for a couple of seconds, for 300 seconds, brother. And they love, they love how, you know, they love it, guys, when we spank them. Do you see it? Or maybe he likes it. Maybe he likes to get spanked. Uh, Muhammad Hamdan, okay, no problem. I will spank you, brother. All right, guys, let us go to reference number two. I hope you took yourself, uh, you gave yourself some nice refreshments. I hope maybe you have a nice cup of coffee, maybe some popcorn, like I said. Maybe some hummus on the side, brother. Let us continue. Reference number two. Take a sip, drink something. Book number two. Book number two. Majma' al-Zawaid. Majma' al-Zawaid. Wa manba' al-Fawaid. Page 115, volume 7, by Imam al-Hafiz al-Haythami. Guys, again, for the people who do not know, who just joined. The Sunnah is not only the Kitab al-Sitta, not only Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Sunnah Nabi Daud, Sunnah Nabi Majah, and so on. No, all these books are Sunnah. Don't let Muslims deceive you. All these books that are not fully translated here are all Sunnah. Okay, these are all the teachings of Muhammad. Not only the... Only a major six books. There are many books that have authentic hadiths in them. Did you catch it? And these are books that you don't know about, but we, Arabic-speaking Christians, read and understand and have to translate for you because the Muslims are too embarrassed to translate them. They are too damaging for Islam. All right. Now, guys, before I continue, I actually f- forgot something. Before I continue... Let me teach you the deception. Let me teach you the deception of the scholars of today. All right? I forgot one thing. I forgot one thing. What did you forget, Rob? The following. Now, guys, I found on page 527 of Dhurr al-Manthur, so the reference number one, 
Sorry, guys. I really need to share this with you before we continue. In the same book, on page 527, page 527, we can find another hadith here in the middle. I took a screenshot, guys. Same page. I make it bigger for you. Okay, look, let me make it a little bit bigger. Uh, page 527, page 527 for Surah Al-Hajj. We scroll down. We see this hadith here in red. Do you see it, guys? This hadith here in red. This hadith here in red. This hadith, in the bottom you see Mursal Sahih Hadith. Mursal Sahih Isnad. Mursal Sahih Isnad. What does that mean? We explain to you what Mursal is. There's a gap in a chain, right? A tabi'i, a follower of the companion, skipped a sahabi in the chain. So there is a gap in the middle, let's say, or whatever. So that's an example, right? This is an example of a hadith that is reported that has a chain problem. Here on the top, you see this is the chain here with the people inside it. An, 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 min, 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 an, an, an. This chain of this hadith, particular hadith, is a mursal Problematic Sahih Isna. Do you see it? Mursal. Here in the bottom. Mursal Sahih Al Isnad. So this hadith, they saw they say it's a fabrication. So they are talking about a particular hadith that has gaps in it, has problems in it. But what they don't tell you is they that there are also hadith as we showed you that they are sahih as the one that we showed you before, right? Sahih. Bisnat Sahih. Sahih. But this one, this one is Mursal. So they are talking about these ones, not the actually Sahih ones. So now, do you understand the deception that is going on? They are talking about fake ones that are problematic, not the other ones. So they cherry pick. The Muslim scholars use bad hadith. To try to prove their point. Did you catch? So they cherry pick what they like. Guys, are you following what is going on? So they grab a hadith that has a problem in it. And they say, look, look, satanic verses is fabricated. No, you are only cherry picking to prove your point. But you are not mentioning the sahih ones. The sahih hadiths. You are only talking about the ones that are having problems. So, guys, the book that by Jalaluddin Suyuti is reporting problematic hadiths, but also the correct ones, the sahih ones. Do you see what kind of bunch of deceivers they are? So, this hadith on the screen has problems in it, but this one does not. This one on pages 525 and 526 does not have a problem. Look, bi'isnaat sahih. This is again, page what? 525. The one on top is fully trustworthy here. The first one is trustworthy. The second one, the second one, this one is sahih. But the third one on page, look, this is page 525. But the one on page 527, 527, same book has the problems. It's the different hadith. Wow! <laughs> Guys, now take a screenshot and put it in their faces, guys. Do you see what, what they are doing? They are mentioning the weak ones, but they are not talking about the strong hadiths that are fully authentic and trustworthy. Did you catch it? That's what is going on in the Muslim Ummah. This is why, remember Sheikh Wasim Yusuf? Remember that video clip that we always played before? Sheikh Wasim Yusuf, who was kicked out of uh, his studio later because he was too honest. He said, and I quote, Sheikh Wasim Yusuf, an Arabic scholar, he said, more than 90% the Muslim scholars are hiding because it will make Muslim become apostates. The moment they share this with the Ummah, with the nation of Islam, Muslims will become f <laughs> automatically apostates because it's too damaging. 
How can our Prophet deliver satanic verses? And it's reported in Sahih Hadith? Yes. So do you understand why they hide? Why they lie? This is why. Here is the second book, guys. Right? We mentioned book number one. Now we are going to book number two. Guys, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm taking my time because I need it to be clear for everybody. Some people complain in the comment section, guys. They say, Rob Christian, you repeat so much. You are, you are so slow. Well, of course, because this information has never been shared before. This information has never been shared before. So I need to go slow for especially our Asian friend, let's say in Indonesia and so on, who have difficulties in understanding English and whatnot. I am taking my time. I would love to go slow rather than fast and some people don't follow because maybe we are speaking too fast or we're going like a train through the references. So I love to repeat and repeat for you to become second nature. So stop complaining if you don't like what we do. Go to other YouTube channels who love to deceive you, okay? If you like what we do, you have to be patient with me. I need to repeat and repeat and repeat for you to become second nature, all right? Now, let us go to reference number two. Sorry, guys, you know, I know I, uh, I, I am a work in progress. I have my shortcomings. I make mistakes. I'm a human being. I'm a sinner. I need Jesus. Pray for me. Keep me in your prayers so I can become, uh, um, improve myself, my skills, whatnot. You know, I'm a work in progress, guys. My English is not my mother tongue. I make mistakes. I make sometimes reading mistakes, but the proof is on the screen. How many scholars do what we do? They go to the books. They read directly from the books. Not many, right? This is why our live shows are so unique, guys. We go to the heart, to the very engine of Islam, the heart of, of, the, of, the, of the ummah, which are the books, right? And we are destroying Islam from within. And this is why knowledge, knowledge, is key to, is to destroy this evil cult from the inside. Now guys, this is reference number two. This is Majma' al-Zawaid wa Manba' al-Fawaid. Majma' al-Zawaid wa Manba' al-Fawaid. Do you see it? Majma' al-Zawaid wa Manba' al-Fawaid. This is volume seven. Volume seven. Ajiz al saba Volume seven. Saba means seven in Arabic. So this is the book. This is reference number two. Page 115. Volume 7, by Imam Al-Haythami, a giant in the Sunni world, a giant scholar, a very classical scholar. Muslims cannot call him a liar. All right? All right. Now, let me, before I continue, guys, let me also give you the link that you can download this book from. Thank God for the internet, because now we can use the internet, download books for free like these to destroy this cult. Here is the link, guys. I hope it's working. Else, let me create a tiny URL. If it's not working, I don't know. Let me do it anyway. So, you know, sometimes when there are Arabic words in the link address, maybe it it's, does not open. Here's the tiny URL. Click it and you can download the book for free. Multi-volume book for free. Wow. So this is volume seven. Let me drink something. I know it's only in Arabic, guys, but at least you have the proof. Imagine one day all these websites get taken down. At least we downloaded them, right? Remember? Some, you know, because it's too damaging. Maybe Muslims will start to attack these websites. Hey, why are you sharing this information for free? Because Rob Christian and others like Rob Christian are using it against Islam. They are spanking our satanic prophet. Please take those websites down. Don't allow them to be free, right? I mean, do you have any idea how expensive these books are? If you go to the bookstore to buy them, if you find them anyway, sometimes you won't even find them. So for free, yes. If we go to page 115, guys, 115 one, in Arabic, this thing that looks like a zero in Arabic, it's five, right? A dot is a zero, but uh, this circle that looks like a five means in Arabic, 
sorry, that looks like a, a zero, it's a five. So page 115, I put it here for you to make it easy. So this is the page, guys. If we scroll down to make it for you clear. Here in the bottom almost, you see, وَرِجَالُهُمَّ رِجَالُ الصَّحِيحِ صَحِيح So the men in the chain are al-sahih. The men in the chain are of al-sahih, like uh, Sahih al-Bukhari, like Sahih Muslim. So the men inside the chain of narration, guys, from the an 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 from 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 all these people that are reporting the hadith, the tabi'een, all the way to Muhammad and so on, the Sahaba, all of them are the people of the Sahih. Did you catch it? So this is a highly Sahih hadith. Highly, let me type it out. Highly Sahih hadith on page on page 115 of this book. Highly Sahih Hadith. Thank you very much, Rob. And this is exactly the same report that the satanic verses are delivered. Right? It's about talking about Muhammad, alayhi wa sallam. That, uh, and then it continues, it says here, qala akrama, and so on. And then, uh, you know, and then when we go to that part, Let's see where it starts, actually starts. Uh, here, I think here, let's see. Okay, here it starts here, and then, uh, and Ibn Abbas, and then here it says, Sa'id bin Jubair, Sa'id bin Jubair, and then Nabi, so uh, Sa'id bin Jubair reports from Ibn Abbas, he again, the Prophet's cousin, and Ibn Abbas, and then Sa'id bin Jubair, in the in the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, so the Prophet, the Messenger of Allah, was in Mecca. The Prophet of Islam was in Mecca. And then he starts to read Surah An Najm, chapter 53. Guys, I'm going to read the Arabic first and translate directly, right? Faqara Surah An Najm, and then translate and give you the English translation for it too. I translated this, so bear with me, guys. And then he reached. أَفْرَأَيْتُمْ أَلَّا وَالْعُزَّ وَمَنَاتَ الثَّالِثَةَ الْأُخْرَى Chapter 53, Ayahs 19 and 20. Chapter 53, Ayahs 19 and 20. So Muhammad reaches here, Ayah 20, right? He talks about أَلَّا الْعُزَّ وَالْمَنَاتَ Satan comes in between. Satan comes in between. Satan comes in between. أفرأيتم اللات والعزة والمناد الثالثة الأخرى and then it says if جرى على نسانه and then on his tongue was cast down تلك الغراني قل علا الشفاعة هن لا ترتجى meaning their intercession hope right these are the satanic verses right guys these are the exalted غرانيق these are the exalted high bird idols and their intercession is hoped for and then it says, قَالَ فَسَمَعَ بِذَلِكَ مُشْرِكُوا أَهْلُ مَكَّةَ So the people of Mecca, the mushrikeen of Mecca, heard about this from Muhammad. Muhammad delivered to them the satanic verses, and then it became really hard on Muhammad. Muhammad starts to feel the heat. Oh boy, imagine this is Muhammad. He says, oh boy, I just delivered the satanic verses. I just made the mistake. So it became really hard on Muhammad. That's what it says here. فَاشْتَدَّ عَلَى رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ It became really hard for Muhammad. Muhammad starts to feel the heat. فَأَنزَلَ اللَّهُ تَبَارَكَ So Allah comes to his aid. Allah comes to help Muhammad. He starts to run like Usain Bolt, the gold medalist, the Jamaican Usain, uh, Jamaican um, gold medalist, the runner, Usain Bolt. That's Allah. Allah outruns uh, Forrest Gump, guys. Allah starts to run, and then he starts to abrogate the satanic verses. فَأَنزَلَ اللَّهُ تَبَارَكَ وَتَعَالَى Allah, the, uh, the most blessed, the most high. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ مِنْ رَسُولٍ وَلَا نَبِيٍ إِلَّا إِذَا تَمَنَّ أَلْقَ الشَّيْطَانُ فَأُمْنِيَتِي فَيَنْسَخُ اللَّهُ مَا يُلْقِ الشَّيْطَانُ And إلى آخر الآية, to the rest of the ayah. So what does Allah do? He starts to abrogate the satanic verses with this ayah. So chapter 22, Surah Al-Hajj, ayah 52 abrogates satanic verses in Surah Al-Najm, in the Surah called the Stars. Right? Do you see what is going on, guys? This is the book. This is the page, page 115. 
right? And then here in the bottom it says, as we showed you, وَرِجَالَهُمْ مَرِجَالُ الصَّحِيحِ So the men in the chain who are reporting this very hadith are the men of Al-Sahih. Please, for the love of God, take a screenshot. This is from the heart of Islam we are exposing Muhammad, the satanic prophet. Guys, I know it's a really overwhelming amount of evidence, an overwhelming amount of information, especially for the non-Arab-speaking Christians and Muslims out there. But if you really care about the truth, you need to really to stick with us. Now, guys, before I give you the translation, I also created a, an English translation to go through with you. Let us read what it says here later. وَقَدْ تَقَدَّمْ حَدِيثْ مُرْسَلْ Do you hear it? And then another hadith is brought up, which is مُرْسَلْ فِي سُورَةَ الْحَجْ أَطْوَلْ مِنْ هَذَا وَلَكِنَّهُ ضَعِيفَ الْإِسْنَادِ So what do Muslim scholars again do? They talk about fabricated hadith. This is what it's saying here. That are ضَعِيفَ الْإِسْنَادِ ضَعِيف chain that is longer than this version that we talked about. So it's a longer hadith, but that longer hadith is da'if. So that's what they do. They pick and choose. They pick their cherries. They talk about the fabricated hadiths, the da'if hadith, but they don't talk about the sahih ones as you see. What the, why are they not saying, yes, there are sahih reports about the satanic verses? <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Guys, this is the mental gymnastics of the Muslim apologists today and the scholars who call themselves scholars. It's nothing but lies. It's nothing but hiding the truth. And remember, without is lies, Islam dies. Now, here is my correct translation for this very sahih hadith. This part that starts from here, guys, all the way to here. This is my correct translation. So now I want you to take another screenshot because this very translation is my own personal translation that you will never find online anywhere else. Take a couple of screenshots till you have the whole hadith and then, uh, you know, uh, in your uh, app or whatever, uh, make the hadith complete, okay? You know, so you get everything underneath each other. Take first screenshot and then we'll read it. Take a screenshot and let, and I'm going later to scroll down so you can have the complete in translation. Again, Majma' al-Zawaid, the same book, Majma' al-Zawaid. Majma' al-Zawaid. Majma' al-Zawaid, wa manba' al-Fawaid. Page 115, volume 7, by Imam al-Hafiz al-Haythami. Are you ready? I am ready, brother. Here is my translation for the page that I read earlier in the Arabic. Now I'm going to scroll down so you can take another screenshot and then you'll have the whole hadith. This is my own personal translation. Again, you won't find it anywhere else. And I hope maybe someone like Brother Sam Shimon, maybe he's watching, I don't know, he can make an, an, an article of it, of my translation, and re-upload it on his answering-islam.org. Or, or I, don't, I don't know the full address, but anyway. I hope uh, he can use this and make an article for you so you can use it in your debates and open the eyes of these poor, deceived Muslims in this evil cult. Again, the hadith starts with this. And Allah the Most High said, Have you seen Allah wa al uzza from Ibn Abbas and in the chain, the tabi'i, the successor of the Sahaba, Sa'id ibn Jubair, Sa'id ibn Jubair, that the messenger of Allah was in Mecca. Then he started to read Surah Al-Najm, Guys, I hope you are still following. He starts to read Surah an najm He starts to read Surah an najm So Muhammad is in Mecca and he starts to read Surah an najm This chapter here, right? This chapter here. He starts to read Surah an najm till he reaches chapter 53, the same chapter, ayahs 19 and 20. Have you seen Allah and al uzza wal manat, the, th the other one, the third manat? And then on his tongue was revealed, these are the exalted cranes, the gharaniq, and their intercession is opposed. So the guys, 
What are the satanic verses in this part? The green sentences here, right? Two verses. These are the exalted cranes, the Gharaniq, and their intercession is upward. Sentence number two. So the verses are two, guys, right? The satanic verses. This is why it's called satanic verses because there are two verses. Verse number one and verse number two. So the green is the satanic verses, okay? He said, then the mushrikeen of Mecca, the Quraysh, the family of Muhammad, the tribe of Muhammad, heard this. They heard the satanic verses. Hey, Muhammad is saying beautiful stuff about our idols. So they are happy with Muhammad now. He said, then the mushrikeen of Mecca, the Quraysh heard this. They started to talk about it and it became hard on Muhammad, difficult for the messenger of Allah. Because Muhammad just delivered satanic verses. He's in trouble. The prophet of Islam is in trouble. Then Allah comes to his aid. After the damage, Allah wakes up. Imagine Allah is sleeping and uh, Satan is doing damage to Muhammad. Satan is, uh, is doing damage to Muhammad, giving him satanic verses. And then after the damage, Allah comes to help Muhammad. Can you imagine? Do you imagine what is going on? This is the messed up killed, guys. Then Allah, the blessed and most high, Allah wakes up from his uh, nightmare. And what does Allah do? He starts to abrogate the satanic verses. And all the noble messengers or prophets before you, Muhammad, whom we sent before you, Ya Muhammad, it occurred with all of them. All of the messengers of Allah, all the prophets of Allah became prophets of Satan. Can you imagine what Muhammad is saying here? Muhammad is fabricating Quran, right? There's nothing called Allah, guys. Remember? So Muhammad, you know, to save his tiny little, <clears throat> to save himself from this disaster, he starts to lie about prophets like the Islamic Musa, the Islamic Isa, the Islamic Ibrahim, and so on and so on. So according to Muhammad, all the prophets received satanic verses. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh boy. Satan includes a bit of from his own speech, satanic verses, in their recitation to the people. So, chapter 22, this is chapter 22, ayah 52. The abrogation, right? And Allah abrogates. وَيَنْسَخُ اللَّهِ مَا يُلْقِ الشَّيْطَانِ فَيَنْسَخُ اللَّهِ مَا يُلْقِ الشَّيْطَانِ You see this part here. And Satan, his speech are is abrogated by Allah. You see it? That is basically, in a nutshell, what is going on, right? So after the damage, and uh, if we continue reading, it says, and this is reported from Al-Bazzar and Al-Tabarani, and the men in the chain, you see, this is my translation, the men in the chain are of the men of Sahih. So I hope you took a couple of screenshots and make them one to have the full hadith, right, for yourself. Because this, again, this translation is my own personal translation that no one else has. You can't find it anywhere. The men in the chain are of the men of us sahih Now guys, as I showed you earlier on the page, if I go back to the book itself, page 115, this highlighted part here with a black line underneath, I translated this part too for you guys, here. And also another hadith was brought up, another hadith was brought up, which is a mursal hadith, a problematic hadith, hadith that has problems inside the chain. Another hadith, right? Look, another hadith was mentioned. So regarding this story, it's longer than this one here on top, than this one, meaning the above one. But the chain, the isnad is da'if. So that's what Muslim scholars do, guys. They go to other hadiths, other hadiths, and they say, look, look, the satanic verses are fabricated. That's what they do. But they don't bring up the sahih ones. This one here on top. This one on page 115, right? This one is sahih, as you see. This one is entirely sahih. And that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Did you catch it, guys? Do you see how knowledge, do you see how the knowledge that we are gathering is destroying Islam. Bam! Exactly, Salusin.10. Exactly. Sorry if I'm butchering your name, my friend. Do you see, guys, 
Do you see how he just destroyed Islam from within? Just by reading the Arabic and giving you, yeah, page 115, guys. Page 115, yes. Again, guys, the full reference for this hadith. This is the full reference. Guys, um, for the people who are maybe new to Islam, reference, the reference for Islamic books, references for Islamic books like these, are not a, a link or, uh, you know, uh, sometimes you get the hadith number, right? Hadith number. But that's what the scholars of Islam, right? Four or five, let's say. For example, right? But most books, they don't have uh, uh, hadith numbers. So to, to get the actual reference, you need to know the book title. The book title. You need to know the page and you need to know the volume. Because most times... Nine, nine times out of ten times, these books have multiple volumes. So book number one, book number two, for the same book title, right? So this is book title number seven, volume seven, page 115, Majma' al-Zawad wa Manba' al-Fawad by Imam al-Hafiz al-Haythami. This is the scholar, right, who put all these hadiths together inside these multi-volume collection of books. So now you get the full idea how the Islamic references work. And again, not only the six books on, let's say, sunnah.com are accepted. All of these books are accepted as long they are, you know, the, the mind games, right? You know, the Muslim mind games, as long they are sahih. As long as sahih, it's fully accepted. As long the people inside the chain are the people of a sahih, Highly trustworthy, it's accepted. So how many Sahih Hadiths did we give you today, guys? Three. From two different books. Three Sahih Hadiths. Let me sum it up again, guys. Let us go back again to the book of As-Suyuti. Book of As-Suyuti, if you missed it. Durr al-Manthur, page 525 to, uh, to 527, uh, let's say. Volume 10, Jalal al-Din As-Suyuti, reference number one. We showed you not one, but two that are sahih. The first one, its men are trustworthy here. And the second one, the isnat sahih. This is the second one. Two from one book. And the last one, the third one from this book. Majma' al-Zawad wa Manba' al-Fawaid by Imam al-Hafiz al-Haythami. I showed you three different hadiths, not one. Not two, but three that are sahih. But Muslim liars and deceivers, they only talk about the problematic ones that we did not mention today. But I showed you an example. Actually, I did, I did show you. This is an, uh, an example of a hadith that has a problem inside the chain. A mursal sahih isnad. You see it? On page 527 from Dhur al-Manthur by Ajjalalain. So we even can show you the problematic ones. So these are the ones that are bringing up to say, you know, the satanic verses are a fabrication. That's what they are doing. And the Muslims uh, who are in trouble, they say, it doesn't say that RC. Exactly, uh, Sandish Burner. That's the number one line, right? It doesn't say that R.C. Right? So this is that we can show you. And guys, again, to make it completely cl uh, clear for you, again, to make it, and I want you to be focused, guys. We're almost done. I know this has been a long live show today. So again, to understand the problem, to understand the disaster, when Muhammad is in Mecca still, he has no army he has only a couple of idiotic followers who believe that he is a true prophet. When he's in Mecca and he's receiving Meccan ayahs, Meccan chapters, he is in Mecca and he starts to receive, supposedly, from Jibreel, Surah an najm So, and in that surah, in chapter 53, Satan cast on his tongue the satanic verses in Mecca. But when Muhammad leaves Mecca and he does hijra, they call it hijra. Right? Migration to Medina. At that time, it was called Yathrib. Medina was called Yathrib. 
right? So Muhammad leaves Mecca and he takes the satanic verses with him. <laughs> he goes to Medina, but after eight years, after eight years, Allah decides to abrogate the satanic verses. Can you imagine that the satanic verses were inside the Quran for eight long years? How so, Rob? Does anyone have an idea why it took Allah so long? Any Muhammad can tell us why Allah waited for eight long years to abrogate the satanic verses that are still inside the Quran? Again, the one million dollar question is why Allah needs to wait eight long years to finally decide, you know what, let me send Jibreel to abrogate the satanic verses. Wow, this is a disaster. A disaster on top of a pile of disasters. Eight long years for Allah to abrogate satanic verses? Eight long years, exactly. It took Allah eight, no, there's nothing uh, Allah. It took Satan, who is disguised as Allah, to abrogate his own satanic verses. And they call this the truth. And they call the Quran a divine book. Allah needs to wait eight long years to abrogate the satanic verses. Why, Rob? Why eight years? Because, remember, Muhammad is in Mecca. He receives satanic verses. And when he goes finally to Medina, then, after eight years, satanic verses are abrogated. Imagine, Muhammad's Quran contains satanic verses for eight long years. At least. Yeah, Kathleen, I crack you're late. You need to rewatch the live show. This is day number two, guys. This is day number two of this satanic versus marathon. I, I thought to myself when I woke up this morning, guys. I thought, let me do a marathon. Let me do another live uh, live stream. I'm uh, maybe I'm thinking about doing a day three, till it, this live show reaches all the corners of the world, and you guys have homework to do. You need to share these live shows. Download small snippets or uh, take a small snippet, a small clip. Put, guys, put subtitles and re-upload it on your own social media accounts, on YouTube, on Facebook, everywhere. TikTok, whatever you have. Help me to help you guys. This information must go out. This information must go out. My final conclusion, my final conclusion, if there's something called authentic in Islam, then the most authentic historical proof are the satanic verses in the life of Muhammad. Right? Because we find overwhelming amount of sahih hadith that confirmed that the satanic verses happened in the life of Muhammad. Overwhelming. And I only gave you three that I found. There are multiple. But this is what I found by only reading two books, guys. What about if I, Lord willing, guys, Lord willing, if you can support me, and you can find this also in the description box, support Rob Christian now to go full-time. Lord willing, if I can do this full-time, Make it my full-time job. Imagine how more damaging stuff we can find in the future when we read more books, when I have the time to read even more Arabic books. Imagine how much damage I can do and be to this evil cult. So if you want to support us financially and help me to reach my goal to go full-time, to become a full-time ministry on Patreon, you can do so. Only if you can, guys. Please, don't do it if you don't. If you can't. If you can't, do it financially. But if you can, you can do that on patreon.com slash robchristian. All right? So guys, I hope you, you benefited from this. And please help me to help you. Help those poor deceived Muslims out, guys. By downloading our videos, at least share them on social media, everywhere you can. I know sometimes it might be dangerous. But didn't Jesus say that if you're going to Walk behind me. Follow me. You become a Christian. You might be persecuted in my name. 
you might be even killed in my name. So that's, guys, that's the risk that we have to take. If you are, if you call yourself a true Christian, now, guys, I don't want to say to everybody the following. You can't, uh, you know, I, I understand that not everybody can become a Christian apologist or a polemicist like uh, me or Brother Sam Shamon or David Wood or Christian Prince. I'm not asking you to become Christian apologists, guys. But you can do your homework by helping us. Because I cannot do this on my own. I cannot spread this information to the all corners of the world. It's your job to do so. I know you love Christian Prince. I know Christian Prince has a huge ministry, huge followers. But uh, Christian Prince, who is a beloved brother of mine, an old school debater like I am, we are doing this for a long time, but he cannot cover up all these. He cannot cover all these topics. He cannot read the books that we read because he reads different stuff. He uh, teaches about different stuff in Islam. Uh, guys, you have no idea how many books are there in the Arabic that still need to be read. I'm sure that there is a sea, there is a sea of knowledge out there that I still need to discover to use it against the fake prophet of Islam. All right? All right? So guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Download our videos. I want to ask our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to bless you, to keep you safe. And I want to thank you for your amazing support, especially the ones who are on Patreon, who are supporting our work financially. And again, if you want to support us, you can do that on Patreon, guys. Thank you for being here. Before we uh, go, guys, before we go, is there any Muslim? <laughs> Is there any Muslim? Is there any Muslim maybe who can defend the Ummah, who can this defend this satanic prophet and, and come with proof? Maybe uh, you can show everybody, Rob Christian, you're lying. Uh, there's something wrong that you misread in, on this page. I want to, you know, I want you to refute me. I want you to refute me. Maybe you can become the hero of the Islamic Ummah, the Islamic nation today. Because we showed everybody that Muhammad is a satanic prophet, brother. Is there any Muslim? Is there any Muslim who is listening? Who can call us live on air right here, right now? And refute me, Rob Christian? Any Muhammadan? Is there any Muhammadan black stone kisser? Who has the courage and the knowledge? Any son of Aisha? Yalla ya salama, yalla ya salami. Yalla ya, ya Muslim. Any Muslim? Yalla ya Muslimin. It's awkwardly silence, guys. It's really silence here. When you do a deep dive, I'm a scuba diver. When you do a deep dive, I'm a scuba diver. Things get very, very awkward and difficult. When you do a... Moment of silence, guys. Today's janaza, today's funeral is uh, the funeral of the Islamic Ummah. They claim to, you know, they claim to have 1.8 billion Muslims on this planet and not one Muslim has the courage and the knowledge or the guts to call us life on air and refute us. Wow. In the meantime, guys, the only thing they can do is say, it's fabrication. <laughs> Even when we show you Sahih, chain of narration, Sahih is not, chain of narration is Sahih, they still claim it's a fabrication. Can you imagine? I understand how difficult it is to defend this uh, cult. The only way to defend it, guys, by lies, the Makr, the deception of Allah, the Khairul Makrin, the best of all deceivers. The only way to defend this cult this man made cult, this sex cult, this death cult of Muhammad is by lies and deception. <laughs> right? And again, without lies, Islam dies. Is there any Christian maybe who wants to call, guys? The lines are open for the Christians.
the Dr. Kufar Phobia, I gave the link. Uh, let me give it again of the books. Here is the link of this book. You can download it. All right. Here is the link again. The, li the books, guys, that we used. We have a brother. Okay. Hello, brother. Welcome your life on air. Hello, dear brother of Christian. Hello, people uh, in the chat. Hello, my friend. How are you? I'm uh, fine, thank you. I was uh, uh, listening from uh, while I was driving back from uh, the job to house and uh, yes. doing some uh, job in the house. While can you I come closer, brother? Can you come closer to the mic a little bit, if you can, so I can hear you better? Wait a second. Better now? Yeah. Go ahead, bro. So uh, uh, I was driving home, I listened to you, I was uh, doing some job in house, I was listening to you, and uh, I cannot believe my ears. So I had, I had the impression, I truly had the impression that uh, Muhammad received satanic verses, and yes. then, I don't know, two days, three days, uh, one month, he abrogated. But now I see eight years. Yeah. Eight years. Eight, eight years. Imagine. Eight years, Allah needs to take eight years to abrogate the satanic verses inside the Quran. Eight long years. Imagine, Muhammad takes his time, he goes with Abu Bakr and Ali and uh, Ibn Abbas. They go all from Mecca to Medina and still the Quran has satanic verses. And why? Why it's there? Because a Jew, there's a Jew, brother, maybe I am, you heard me last time, his name is, uh, uh, let me, let's see if I can get his name. His name is Hujjaj ibn al-Akhtab. That was a Jew from Medina. He came to Muhammad and he said, you know, you claim to be the final prophet. You claim to be the final prophet of Allah. Yet it, when, when you talk about the Quran and you recite the Quran, we hear satanic verses. You are, you are saying, You are reciting satanic verses. What's going on? And then Muhammad wakes up. He said, oh, what have I done? Muhammad always forgets ayahs, right? If you go to the hadith, you see Muhammad is getting reminded by other people. Hey, you said that the other day. He said, yes, thank you for reminding me. So the Jew reminds him about the satanic verse. And after eight years, Muhammad decides, okay, let me, let me uh, you know, start to fabricate chapter 22 and uh, come with a plan to, to abrogate it. So he, he says, yeah, you know, Allah now is helping me. Allah starts to abrogate. وَيَنْسَخُ ma يُلْقِ shaitan, Right? But uh, I see two problems. Uh, and I, what I know, I know only from you. Yeah. From you, yeah. And uh, some uh, things from Brother Sam and some from Brother Sipi. But uh, put it together, see, it is like this. You just showed to us that Ayah 22 where, uh, in the Quran where the, the satanic verses were, ab were abrogated. Yeah. The last row, it, say, it says, Allah is all-knowing, all-wise. Yeah. And the, the second idea, it is, ain't Allah goes the third part of the night down to the second or the third yeah, part the of the night. Yeah, it goes all the way to the first uh, yeah, level. Exactly. Yes, to hear what the people are praying. So yeah. they, you, you're telling me that for eight years, uh, Allah came down and heard uh, al Yeah, al Allah, Allah is listening to the satanic verse. Imagine, guys, the, the, you, you are very smart. Guys, have you just heard what he said? Let me repeat again what this brother, this awesome, smart brother said. Listen carefully, guys. Our brother here just said, imagine Allah, according to the hadith, Allah every night comes down to the lowest heaven and he hears the prayer to accept the prayer of the Muslims. So Allah enters his creation. He comes to the lowest heaven. Remember, paradise is creation. To hear the prayers. Right? But Allah is still hearing the recitation of the Muslims, uh, you know, in Medina. And after eight years, Allah supposedly starts to send down the abrogation in chapter 22, ayah 52. Can you, can you understand the damaging disaster here? After eight years, Allah is still hearing prayers. Allah he hears his own Quran that has uh, satanic verses. After eight years, Allah thinks, I mean, Muhammad, there's nothing called Allah. Muhammad thinks, hey, it's time, finish, it's, it's enough is enough. Let us abrogate satanic verses. 
Mm-hmm. And, but in the meantime, Muslims still are reciting the satanic verses that are still inside chapter 53, Surah An-Najm. تِلْكَ الْغَرَانِيقَ الْعُلَى وَإِنَّ الشَّفَعَاتَهُنَّ لَتُرْتَجَ Why Allah needs to wait so long? Why Allah needs to wait so long? Exactly, brother, go ahead. Now to twist the knife in the wound. Yeah. Uh, you said that Allah deceives the one who likes and who is deceived by Allah yeah. cannot be guided. Okay? Mm-hmm. So uh, th- there is another possibility that Allah didn't like all his people. So eight years, he <laughs> let them to be misguided, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And, and, and where's the protection uh, that, that Allah in the Quran promised? Allah promised that he's going to protect his followers from Satan. Where is the protection that Allah is talking about in the Quran? Allah clearly in the Quran says, guys, listen carefully. I'm going to protect you, you my followers, the Mo- i.e. the Muslims. Allah is saying, you Muslims, I'm going to protect you from the harm of Satan. Why Allah did not protect his most beloved creation, which is Muhammad, from Satan? Muhammad delivers satanic verses. These party, these two. And Allah is sleeping. Where is his promise? That means Allah is a fake God. Allah just lied. Allah did not keep his promise to protect Muhammad. Exactly, brother. And the final final thing, it is uh, how Muslims can trust now to seek refuge by Allah. Yeah. Please explain, uh, dear Muslims. Yeah, exactly. If Allah cannot... Protect his of our uh, protect his final prophet from Satan. How can you trust Allah? How can you uh, trust Allah who cannot keep his promises that he is going to protect you from Satan? How 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 do you know that Allah maybe uh, someday misguide you? Because remember, according to the Quran, Allah can misguide whoever He wills. That means you too, Muslims. If it's the plan of Allah for you to be to be misguided, like his uh, Muhammad, like his prophet Muhammad, who got misguided by Satan. Allah allowing Satan to play uh, mind games with uh, Muhammad. What about you? And didn't Muhammad, brother, didn't Muhammad say in the Quran, and the admins can give the, the, the ayah in the, in the live chat, didn't, didn't, uh, uh, <clears throat> didn't Muhammad say, I don't know what Allah will do to me in the Quran? Muhammad in the Quran said, I don't know what Allah will do to me. Maybe Allah will put me in hell. Maybe Allah will put me in Jannah. So what do you know? How do you know where you're going to end up, Ya Muslimin? If even Muhammad doesn't know. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. Uh, thank you, brother Rob. God bless thank you. Thank you for and your amazing call, brother. Always amazing to have your input. Because of you, now we can use more information. We can share more information that will even expose Muhammad more. Thank you for your call. God bless you, brother. Thank you. Uh, God bless you. I hope uh, Sister K from K Soko and uh, Sister Hatun are watching this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope they can use this. Exactly. This is too, this is damaging. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you for your call, okay. brother. God bless you. Go God with the peace bless of you. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Uh, Sister Chloe Wake says she wants to call too. Uh, Sister Chloe Wake. Whoa, guys. Take it Take it easy. Take it, take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Uh, whoa. That was like two calls at the same time. Uh, Chloe waked. Uh, I'm waiting for your call. Hello? Your call. Mute you too, please. <clears throat> your call. Yeah, if I meet you, you could run from bed. Ah, ultimate donkey. Go ahead, go, go. You, you reject hadith anyway, so there's no need to... Guys, this guy doesn't accept hadith, so waste of time. Chloe waked. Okay, let me. Sorry, Chloe waked. Hello, sorry, dear. Hello, Hello. sister Chloe, one of the admins. Welcome. Uh, sorry, I didn't know YouTube was still in the background. Um, <laughs> How are you, sister? Good. How are you, brother? First time I'm calling. good. Yeah, nice to have you, guys. Again, this is our sister Chloe waked, right here in the in the live chat. She's admin. Nice to have you, sister. God bless you. Welcome. Your life on air. Go ahead. God bless you, brother. Awesome. Good to uh, be here. Good to talk to you. Um, 
yeah you know every time i watch one of your streams or adam streams or sam streams or uh, cp streams mm -hmm. you're like my heart just breaks for for muslims like knowing what uh, their quran teaches and what they believe teaches and how evil it is yeah. it breaks like it starts breaking my heart because these are my people you know i'm i'm middle eastern i'm lebanese and knowing that um, mm -hmm. my people believe in this it breaks my heart um, okay so guys we have a, the, our sister here can confirm she can read arabic she can confirm what we're saying now sister i have Very a well. question all the information that we shared on the screen and you know arabic right صح. صح. you hear it guys so did we lie or did we bring it word for word what it said no, brother, word for word, that's absolutely correct. And thank you. You thank know, you. sometimes you have to do you have to do one of those double takes to like yes. look back and read it again. You're like, it actually says this, like like it it's disproving itself by like it doesn't even need us to disprove it. It already disproves it by itself just reading it. Exactly. And you know, um on TikTok the other day, every so often I um end up on Muslim TikTok, either a Muslim video or a Muslim live stream. Um, and I usually just hit not interested and scroll through it. Mm. Um, but yesterday I was telling Adam Seeker this uh, on, a, on a live stream. I decided to just join um, a Muslim live stream and see what they were talking about. And they were talking about um, how Jesus wasn't Lord and basically making fun of um, making fun of Christians. And it was let me tell you this, brother. Mm -hmm. It was a Westerner, like white woman couldn't even pronounce anything in Arabic. She was saying like inshallah and things like that in yeah. arabic but as an arab speaker you're like that is so it's kind of embarrassing yeah um like <laughs> please don't speak you know you know my heart exactly sister uh, my heart goes out for these uh, muslim converts who have no idea what islam says or teaches mm -hmm. they have no clue so these poor ladies and especially the ladies out there they are yeah. you know uh, they fall, fall in love with let's say a pakistani muslim you know, because maybe, you know, they don't get the attention from uh, the Western guys, you know. So they fell in love for, with these Muslims. And, you know, because uh, uh, Muslims, that's what they do. They want to uh, hunt down for the blondes and so on, you know. So they, they, f uh, they are allowing themselves to be fall in love with these Muslim men. And they get deceived in this evil cult because they have to convert. Right, so that they can marry them. So they convert and then they become Muslims. But they have no idea. They convert because out of love. They have no idea what Islam teaches. They have no idea how evil Islam is. They have no idea how evil Islam is towards the Muslim women. They don't know that the Quran allows Muslim men to be, to be their Muslim wives. So exactly. you know, and, and most out of ten times, after two years, they start to see the true face of Islam, and they you know. They become ap apostates, basically. Yeah, and, and they get so brainwashed, you know. Yeah. Um, I usually, like I was saying, I usually don't comment or join these live streams, but I was curious, and um, she was talking about Christ, you know, our Lord. Yeah. So I just decided, probably the only Christian there, because a lot of there are a lot of Muslims watching. Uh, let me tell you, over 2,000 viewers just watching live on TikTok. Imagine yeah. if she had, like, a YouTube channel promoting Islam. Yeah. It would have been probably 10,000 people watching. Of course, of course. Um, so I decided, I don't know, I just felt like I needed to share some of the truth. So yeah. I just um, commented, Jesus is Lord. Amen and imagine me. this, brother. Out yeah. of 2,000 people watching her live stream, for some reason, she saw my content, the mm. my comment. Yeah. The comments were going fast. Yeah. And she saw my comment. And she goes, well, um, Chloe, that's your opinion. Yeah. Um, and she And I was like, Oh, if, like my heart just yeah. broke in that moment, and my yeah. spirit it's sad. was just so it's sad, like, very sad. Yeah, very sad to see these poor illiterate women. They are nothing but illiterate. They don't speak the language. They don't read the Quran in the Arabic because remember, you have to read the Quran in Arabic to understand it. Mm -hmm. You must pray in Arabic. Do you even know what you're praying? Do you know that you, yeah, when exactly. you pray, when you pray, you are talking directly to Muhammad? Right? Mm -hmm. Assalamu alaikum. This is what they say. Assalamu alaikum, ya ayyuhan nabi, wa rahmatullahu wa barakatuh. Right? They, they are directly saying to Muhammad. Right? They are greeting Muhammad and they are praying to Muhammad while praying the five daily prayers. Imagine. Right, and right. they say this is only a prophet. 
Why, why do you pray to Muhammad? Why do you talk to Muhammad in your five daily prayers? How is this not shirk? How is this not idolatry? Pray for, not to. <laughs> yeah. Even Allah prays for, not to. Oh, Lord, I am, Lord, I'm going to do another live stream, guys. I have more damaging information that I found in the Islamic books. Uh, you know, Allah, Allah is praying and Muhammad goes to the, to the seven heavens, right? Allah is praying, and then when Muhammad reached that area where Allah is, is in, right? There are a couple of walls, can you imagine? And every wall doesn't look similar like the other one. So there are, uh, and every wall is like 500 years. Imagine walls are numbered like years. So one wall is 500 years, the other one is 500 years, and so on and so on. And there are many walls, and, and they, Allah counts them like years. So Jibreel, uh, when, when Muhammad reaches to a very critical area where Allah is in, Jibreel says, no, 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 stop, stop, ya Muhammad, qif, meaning stop, wait. Allah is, let Allah finish his prayer. I mean, Allah prays like Muslims. And uh, if that's not enough, Muhammad hears who? The sound of Abu Bakr, the father of Aisha. Abu Bakr, guys, imagine. Muhammad hears the sound of Abu Bakr. So what is Abu Bakr doing in the sleeping chambers of Allah? <laughs> guys I this is it. in the islamic books i am not lying to you and i'm going to bring you it to you lord willing in the next live show muhammad hears the voice of abu Bakr while allah is inside in a very strict area area 50 uh what was it area 51 51 yeah <laughs> area 50. muhammad's allah allah is in area 51 no, where nobody can be but muhammad when he is there and jibreel stops him stay stay stop muhammad for the love of allah Brother, get stuck for Allah. Allow Allah to finish his prayer. But Muhammad hears the sound of Abu Bakr. What is Abu Bakr doing in the chambers of Allah? And why is Allah praying? And who is Allah praying? Allah. Amazing, amazing. Um, you know, I was telling I was telling Adam Seeker that about that. Um, I was uh, on a conversation with him. And he was like, you should have engaged that. Like, you should have said, okay, I'm saying Jesus is Lord under Sharia, under Islam, what would happen to me? Mm. And I was like, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, you know, I just want to yeah, call and to, share that with you, brother. Thank share you. Something. Thank you. Uh, amazing um, to hear you for the first time, sister. Stay safe. Yeah, amazing to be here. Uh, too, thank you for too. your confirmation. Thank you for your input. God bless you, sister. And I'm really, uh, it's an honor to have you as, a, as a, one of my admins. God bless thank you. Stay you, safe. Brother. Thank you for your call. You too, brother. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. That was Sister w Chloe Waked, one of the admins. God bless her. Keep your admins in your prayers, guys. Like I always say, our admins are doing an amazing job taking uh, care of our uh, channel, of our uh, comment section, of our live chat. Uh, I'm, I had multiple calls at the same time. Let's see if we can call our sister Vanessa. Vanessa called me too. Let me call her back. Sister Vanessa, are you there? You called me. I could not take multiple calls at the same time. Okay, she's there, I think. Hmm. What happened? Sister Vanessa, are you there? Sorry, I mispronounced in the live chat, Sister Chloe. Chloe. With an age. Sorry for that. Let me remove that comment before. Okay. Sister Vanessa is calling. Okay, beautiful. Hello, Sister Vanessa. You're live on air. Welcome. Yes. Hello, brother. How are you? I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to hear your voice again. Go ahead. Yes, brother. Mute YouTube, I sister. Said, yeah, okay. Yes, I muted. I muted. Okay. I, when I was listening to you, I said, look, the only time I don't listen is if I'm sleeping because of the, the time difference, or if I'm at work and I'm not allowed to listen. Yeah. But I listen almost every time. So when I was listening, the things that came to my mind is what I just wanted to share with you. Yeah. Um, brother um, Adam Sika yeah. and also brother Christian Prince, both of them, yeah. they are already treated Quran as Kansaraba. It's a book of incantations, a book of uh, of magical errors, right? Yeah. 
They both of them treated it like that. Mm. And there is another brother, I don't even know his name, but I yeah. listen, I happen to listen to him online as well. Yeah. And he was saying that uh, the people that came up with Islam, you know, mm. that the, it, it, the major purpose was actually to stop uh, the Arab Christians from taking, from following Jehovah, you know. Yeah. And they then concocted stories, you know, bastardized biblical stories like the so story of Solomon. Yes. But originally, the book is a book of incantation of the Sabians. Mm, the Sabians, yeah. I wanted to put it. Yeah. So, and the, then the, the couple of uh, examples, like there is one incantation there that people of the occult understand very well. One is when there is a passage in the Quran that it was, uh, you know, the, when the when the Quran uh, when the when the pennies talking about the pennies raising up. I guess it was it was it was uh, Muhammad himself that was talking. Yeah. You know, so you now talking about um, the the um, uh, three daughters. Of 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 Allah, uh, yeah, the three daughters of Allah, yeah, the yes, three bird and, and idols. They, they are to be worshipped, right? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah Muhammad oh, delivered satanic yeah. verses, and he started to worship them, and the Quraysh of Mecca yeah. too, exactly, yeah. Yeah, I guess they started uh, coming up with ideas, saying Allah abrogated it, when people that are not connected with this occult background. Uh, waking up and saying, "Hey, what's what, what's that?" Yeah. And now they started saying, "Oh, no, no, it was uh, you know." After eight years, Allah abrogated it, you know. Yeah. But they know the people behind it know it has nothing to do, nothing whatsoever. There is no God. There is no no no. It's an idol. It's the idol yeah. in the Mecca. Exactly. In the in the Meccan Kaaba. Yes, exactly. You know, yeah, and then this they, idol had multiple names. Allah was called yes. Hubal, Allah was called Hubal, Baal, exactly. Allah was called yes. Sin, right? It's yes. the same yes. moon idol, the yes. same Arabian moon idol, the same yes. Nabataean moon idol, right? Yes. Muhammad and took know, him and yes. he uh, only uh, removed Allah al Uzza wal Manat because he knew, I mean, how can he talk about one God if there are multiple gods? So, <laughs> and still, no. still he busted himself. All right. Exactly. Still, he delivered satanic verses, and supposedly yeah. there's nothing called Allah. It's a stone idol. Muhammad, after feeling the heat of the Jews of Medina, after yes. eight years when they busted him, right? They forced him to uh, to to basically uh, uh, abrogate his own words in the Quran. After eight yes. years, if a Jew, Im imagine guys, if the Jew, it was a Jew who busted him, right? If the Jew didn't say, hey, yeah, Muhammad, you're talking supposedly about one God and you preach that there's only one God, but you are in your Quran, we still find the, the satanic verses what happened. So after eight years, after getting busted by Hujjaj ibn al-Akhtab, who was a Jew from Medina, Muhammad ha was forced to abrogate his own words in the Quran, which are the satanic verses, basically. Yes, exactly. and just yesterday, you know, brother, I was listening to uh, one of the old uh, uh, live shows of Christian Prince, yeah. where he was saying uh, the guy, one Muslim guy called him, and um, the Muslim guy was like asking about the Quran and something like that. How, what, what, what does he think is not the book from God? Where does it come from? Something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And Christian Prince was like, Look, I believe Waraka ibn Naufal. Is the one that that uh, they said he was translating this Quran. Actually, mm -hmm. it was it was like bastardizing, trying to bastardize the Bible to make the Quran. Exactly. I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know? Yeah. You actually, you're reminding me. Uh, the other day, we we made a video about Muhammad in the Hadith. He stole the Lord's Prayer word for word, and he changed it yes, a little I, bit. I listened. Uh, yes. You know, it became an Islamic Lord's Prayer. Guys, if you yes. did, if you missed that video, to go to it, back yes. to my YouTube channel and you see how Muhammad stole the Lord's Prayer, changed it a little bit, gave it a little, his own twist. I imagine, copy paste our own mm. Lord's Prayer the way Jesus gave us the Lord's Prayer, our Father in Heaven. He stole it and he changed it, uh, but you can find similarities. It's in the in the Hadith, exactly.
So demonically possessed, these people. Mm-hmm. They don't want to go to heaven. Yeah. They don't want others to go to exactly. heaven. Can you imagine that? Yeah, Islam so is nothing but a heretical Christian it's, cult. It's, it's, it's a it's, it's a heretical it's, Christian cult created by Muhammad Khadija, who was supposedly a Nasrani, Waraq uh, ibn uh, her cousin, the Nasrani, and uh, the monk Buhaira. There was a monk called Buhaira, and actually uh, a, a big chance that it's it was his father. It was his father, his real father, or it could be also Waraq ibn Awful. We, we, we cannot be certain, right? But, you know, Islam is nothing but a bastardized, bastardized, Sorry for from English, guys. It, yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's a it's a it's a Christian heretical uh, cult, like many, like the Arians, right? The, uh, the Arius was same, right? Mm. Same, 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 basically same example. Copy from <laughs> here, copy from there, and it became a mixture of uh, of a cult. Yeah, uh, you know, you know, the ancient ancient religion from the East. There is there are clips like that from. From an insider who came out, I, yeah. I'm just praying for that man. He said, "If if I die, yeah. know that I didn't kill myself because they, are, they, they when they kill you, they make you make make it look as if they <laughs> you killed yourself, you know." Imagine. Yeah. And it was it was saying they they come in different forms. The one we know is Islam, but the people behind it they are so dubiously cunning yeah. that. They bring it in many different shapes and form. In the West, it might, it might be the Freemasons. In the Eastern, it might be another one. And they all are together. But to a novice, that yeah. is why they call you Goim or whatever they call you. Yeah. You don't know. You yes, have no clue. Sister, I have a you guy uh, on, uh, sorry for, for interrupting. There's a guy called yeah. Diapers Diapers. I think it's a troll. He says, stop lying, Rob. Who's <laughs> okay, okay, if I'm lying. Call me, call me and, and, and show me where I'm lying. Sister, maybe we can take this call if you don't mind. Is that okay Yes, with please. You? Take it. Yeah. Take it maybe brother. any last words? What do you want to say? Any last words, sister? I just, I, just, I just want to say, brother, I'm praying for you. Thank I you. know you are there getting all the blows on your chest for us, but I am praying for you, and I thank you for your work for opening our thank eyes, you, sister. brother. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Appreciate your Bye-bye. kind word. God bless you, and thank you for your amazing call, sister. God bless. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Now, guys, uh, let's see if this is a troll, because his name, uh, you know, let's let's see if it's maybe Ultimate Donkey. He has many nicknames. Look, uh, look at his nickname, guys. Diapers, diapers. Ah, Lord have mercy. Pick up, pick up. Playing dead now, yeah. Okay, it's Ultimate Donkey. You know, when you don't hear something, you know, he always plays with these games. Ultimate Donkey. Ultimate Fart. Ultimate Donkey? Is that you? Okay, okay, come, come. Let us hear you. Ultimate donkey, talk. So I can put you in your place. Okay. Waste of time. Let me block this guy. Okay, got it. No time for kids. Uh, any any Mohammedan who accepts hadith? Guy is a guy who is a, is a Quran only Muslim who has his own Quran version. Right, an own corrupted Quran version. I have my own personal stalkers, guys. I kid you not. Why are you calling me when I'm talking about hadith? You, you don't accept hadith. You're supposedly Quran Rashid Khalifa, uh, Rashid Khalifa boy. You reject hadith. You don't accept any tafsir. And even Muslims uh, call you a fake Muslim. So, waste of time. Any Mohammedan, any true Mohammedan who has the knowledge and the courage, or do I only have wannabe Muslims, wannabe Muslims who claim to be Muslims, who read only the transliteration? Brother, I'm going to read the transliteration, act like an Arab. 
That's what they do, right, guys? They don't know Arabic. They only read transliteration. I think uh, that's Quran. Get stuck for Allah. Get stuck for Allah. Guys, I hope uh, I hope you benefited from today's live show. Uh, sorry, uh, Sister Vanessa, because of this troll, uh, I had to uh, wrap up our call. Sorry for that. God bless you, Sister. Uh, Sister Chloe Wicked, God bless you too. Thank you for your call. Uh, uh, our brother who called earlier, thank you for your input too. Those were amazing calls. Uh, by the way, uh, Chris Claus, are you with me, Chris Claus? Yesterday when I joined your uh, live show, it was an amazing live show, by the way. Guys, give our brother, Chris Claus, some love. He is an, an old uh, and uh, dear brother, a friend of mine who has a YouTube channel. Give him some love, subscribe. Uh, Chris Claus, don't forget, don't forget to do a, a show or a video about Mansoor from uh, Speakers Corner because he was calling, he was calling that uh, uh, that video of uh, Brother David Wood about Ur, you remember Ur, right? Where Abraham is from, uh, about the the tr translated work that went wrong or you know, copyist mistake or a scribal error, whatever. So maybe you can do that, uh, and because there is a misconception about the Ur, where Abraham is from. Ur means the city, but there was a mistranslation by a, 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 a guy. I don't remember his name, and it became fire. But actually, the 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 word Ur, I know it's off topic, but the word Ur means the city. All right, Muhammad, not knowing that. A Jew made a mistake. He took it and he said, no, Abraham was cast into the fire. <laughs> and uh, Brother Chris Kloss, Mansour, Mansour claims that uh, the guy who uh, copied it wrong, uh, that we Christians lie about him. That is actually a fabrication by us. So you really need to do some nice investigation about it. Watch that video by uh, Mansour on his YouTube channel, Dawa Wise. Uh, and please make your uh, your work out of it, and uh, you know so that Christians can benefit from it, brother. Because he's calling him, a, he's, a, he's calling our work about it. He call he calls us liars and deceivers. He say we use fabricated work. So watch it, and do a video about it, my friend. Again, uh, God bless you, Chris Claus. God bless everybody in the live chat. Everybody who has been part of today's live show. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your calls. And again, may our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bless you, bless your families and loved ones. Please share our videos. I'm getting tired, guys. I really have to go. Maybe grab something to eat. This was day two, as you see here, day two of the Satanic Verses. Marathon. I'm not sure if I'm going to do day, day three, but we'll see. Please download our video, share our videos all over social media. Let everybody see how Muslim scholars and apologists lie about the Sahih hadiths regarding the Satanic verses. It's Sahih. It's Sahih. Thank you for being here. May our Lord and Savior bless you guys. Thank you for your support. Go with the peace of Christ. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. And Muhammad is nothing but the prophet of Satan who delivered satanic verses 1400 years ago. Thank you for being here. Deus Vult, we will see each other very soon. May our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bless you, your loved ones and families. See you, see you very soon. Deus Vult, not willing. We can do another amazing epic live stream and bring down the hammer once again. On the face of Islam. See you. The use vote. Bye bye. Hello, welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications. Backup channel, please subscribe. subscribe guys so why is Allah saying to him the following ayah
stay away ya Muhammad from idols You're a follower of Jesus, and you're using words like that. Well, it's not my words. I, 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 it's not my words. It's the words of Allah. Are you embarrassed of Allah?